by Jesus underscore, you are awesome. Thank you for the 8 month resub. Has it been 8 months already? Frick, I need to come up with a terrible pregnant joke within a month.
What you think, what you think about When you're born into a fire Let them burn, let them burn it out Sell them to the richest buyer Wake at the back of the pack, we kill it anyway musical notes. Hello, hello, hello. Yay. <laughs> you know what's funny, chat? You know what's funny? Sometimes, sometimes I have this sort of urge to, uh, whenever you guys, I love it when, when there's people in like, you know, the intro, the, the starting soon screen, and there's already people in chat. I always love that because it's nice to sort of, you know, get, get chatting with you guys before we actually properly begin. Um, but it's kind of funny that sometimes I feel that I want to, you guys say something in, in the chat, and I feel like I want to comment on that and rather than just wait until I, you know, like the, the song is over and I can, you know, talk to you guys. Rather than wait, I quickly end up finishing like, you know, I, I'm typing my response and I'm like, oh, I need to be quick because the song is almost over and I need to start talking. Um, which I, you know, like I just now realized it's kind of a weird thing because I can I can also just like not type it and just say it instead. But I always have the urge like, oh, I need to quickly type. I need to quickly say something. Um, so, so yeah, maybe I'll need to, maybe I'll need to think about that next time that I can ju also just wait and, and then just say my response with voice instead of with, with typing. Um, so yeah, anyway, chat, anyway, welcome on in. It is, uh, it is Wednesday. Uh, we're going to have a bit of a community day, community night, I guess, uh, tonight. We're going to play a new game. Um, the game is called Punk, P-W-N-K. Uh, and and I, I, I've seen some videos. I've never played it myself. It's gonna be my first time actually playing it as well. But I've seen videos, and it looks like it's 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 a lot of fun. It looks like it's a lot of fun. So um, yeah, I'm very excited about that. Very excited about that. Um, as always, the first thing that I'll say though is good evening, everyone. Good evening and good time zone to all of you. How is everyone doing today? My name is Mr. Delicious. Welcome to the stream this Wednesday, May 18th, 2022. Hello, hello. Play with fans. Yeah, exactly. We're gonna play with uh, we're gonna play with all of you guys. Um, like I said, it's going to be my first time as well. Uh, I've never played this game before. Like I said, I've seen people play it and I've seen like videos of it and it looks like it's a lot of fun. Um, I, I, the way that I see it is that um, think of it as Jackbox meets Mario Party minigames meets Twitch chat interaction. 
if that makes sense. That's kind of how I feel that this game could be described. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Also, uh, Abba Jesus, thank you so much for that uh, tier one resub earlier. Uh, during the starting soon screen, I can appreciate it. Eight months already, which means that very soon we're gonna have to be using, uh, we're gonna have to find a name for our stream baby because then, you know, the nine months are here. Uh, but it's not there yet, it's not, we still have some time, so you have time to think for a good name for our stream baby, but you know, it's eight months, it's, it's coming up, it's coming up, it's almost there, it's almost there, but thank you so much, uh, I appreciate it. Also, you Stasios, how are you doing? Welcome on in. Hello, hello. Um... I did see that uh, race up on the thumbnail of the channel. Oh, that was on the thumbnail. Sometimes I see these thumbnails on, on Twitch. I'm like, wow, those are some very interesting uh, thumbnails. Wow. <laughs> That's always very interesting. How about Jordy? No, well, that would be weird because then the stream baby would have the same name as me and then it would be confusing. It would be confusing. So it, 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 yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Tago, hello, eight months, almost there. Jordi is pregnant. No, no, I was talking about the uh, the stream baby that me and Abba Jesus are gonna have soon because uh, you know he he just subscribed for um, eight months, so like nine months is of course the stream baby date. I mean, I didn't make up the rules. That's just how it works. <laughs> oh heck, heck. Um, let's see. How is everyone doing today, chat? How is everyone doing? I'm, I'm, I'm excited for the games. I'm, I'm very excited for the games. We're gonna, I think we're gonna start at like not at uh, eight thirty. So I wanted to have a little bit of time to just introduce things and talk about things and talk about like our days. And then like at eight thirty, so that's like in what is it, like seventeen minutes? Uh, I wanted to properly begin with the game. So you guys can all join in. That's gonna be the fun of this game and the fun of this stream. You guys can all join in. You don't have to download any apps. You don't have to go to any websites. The only thing that you need to be do is be in Twitch chat. Like, you know, you guys are already here. You need to be in the chat. That's basically all that you have to do. And then everything that you do happens within the Twitch chat. So it's not like Jackbox that you need to go to a um, like a certain, like, you know, like a, a different website or like, you know, it's not like with some other party games where you have to download an app or something like that. Everything happens within, uh, the Twitch chat. So I think that is also very nice that, you know, that makes it easy for you guys to join in because you are already on Twitch. Um, so, you know, it kind of helps. Uh, so I think that's a good thing. So, um, yeah. Also doing great, uh, compared to last Monday, no more... <laughs> Excuse me, no more flu. Well, I wish I could say the same thing. I wish I could say the same thing. I'm still coughing. It's less though. Uh, it is definitely less, but I'm still coughing. So uh, I wish I could say the same, but happy happy to hear that, Tago. Uh, also, Om, hello, how are you doing? Welcome on in. You only need a Twitch account to play the game. Yes, so that's the only thing that you need. You need a Twitch account. But if you are typing in chat, then I feel that you already have a Twitch account. So you should be good. Um, so if you can say stuff in chat, you are good to go. You are good to go. So if, if you haven't, like, if you want to, like, test that, just say hi in chat. If you haven't done so already, then say hi and then I see your message, then you're good to go. You can continue and you can play along with these games. Heck, it is, uh, yeah, there we go. So, see, Martin, bleep84, uh, he can join. He can join because I just saw your hi, so that totally works. There we go. Uh, heck, it, it's super warm today, chat. I, it's currently 27 degrees uh, Celsius. I have no idea what that is in Fahrenheit because, you know, weird numbers. Uh, but it is 27 degrees Celsius, which is super warm. I had a lovely day, though. I literally only just now put on, turned on my PC for the entire day. I haven't been on my PC the entire day. Um, but I literally, I, I literally put it on just now for the stream, like, you know, uh, uh, 45 minutes ago, I guess. Um, I spend I spend a lot of the time outside today. We we did some uh, walking through a through the woods, uh, and we did some geocaching. Has any of you ever heard or done geocaching? Peter started doing that recently. Peter kind of introduced. I mean, I knew that it existed before that, but Peter sort of started to introduce me to it uh, kind of recently. Uh, and we've been doing some geocaches. Um, you know, like around around the city, like where we live, we, we tried to find some of them. But we now actually drove to a, a, a forest, like, you know, 15 minutes away. Uh, and we did like, you know, a, a route of geocaches through the woods. So we walked through the woods and then along the way we could find these geocaches. So basically what it is, is like, you know, someone hides something, which can be like, you know, something very tiny, like tiny, like a little bottle. Uh, or it can be something big, like, you know, the, the other day we found one that is... Um, um, that is a, that was a, basically like a birdhouse, 
um, that was like in the trees and you had to like, you know, hose it down or hose it down and then it came down and then there was like, you know, a little notepad inside. You could write your name on it and the date and stuff like that and then you put it back and then you have to pull it back up and then the birdhouse went back up as well. That was a, a I, I love that one. Um, but today we went to the woods and we found these caches that were also in birdhouses. Um, but they were just like, you know, in, in visible, so they weren't like, you know, on the police system or anything like that. But it was still nice, you know, it was a lovely a lovely day, lovely weather to walk through the woods. Um, and then also look for these, like, you know, we Peter has this app on his phone. Uh, and it's basically just like, the next cache is 125 meters away. And then it shows you like, you need to walk in what direction. And then you kind of, you know, as, as soon as you're like, you know, within 10 meters, we start looking like, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? And then I usually saw them pretty quickly, which I, I kind of liked because I love finding things. Um, that's the puppy inside of me, I guess. You know, I love finding things. Um... But yeah, it was it was fun. It was it was lovely weather. So um, yeah, and then you know once we came home, we we had dinner. Uh, we did the dishes because today is no no dirty dishes day. So we did the dishes because we didn't want to have any dirty dishes. Uh, and now we're here. Now we're playing. We're gonna play some games. So that was basically my my what is it Wednesday? My Wednesday. So yeah. Uh, wait a minute. Twenty seven is super warm. I mean, for us here in the Netherlands, I feel that. You know, 27 degrees is it maybe not super warm, but pretty warm. Um, we are not. It's not like our average temperature or anything like that. I know that you live. I want to say, you know, well, I'm not going to dox you, so, but I, I think I know where you live. I think you've mentioned that before. Uh, and I know where you live. 27 degrees is probably regular, average. It's you know normal. Uh, but over here, we consider that to be quite warm. Yes. I think everything above 30 degrees is, um, I think if it's lasts for more than four days in a row above 30 degrees, we're talking about a heat wave. Um, so yeah, I guess that says enough. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm familiar with geocaching. We have a lot of caches in my city. I was checking the app uh, yesterday. I did see one on the street in front of my home, so I need to check where it is. The app shows the center of the street. Oh yeah, you definitely should. If it's that close, then definitely just walk there and see if you can find it. Uh, everything above 24 is too hot here. It's because of the humidity, aka how moist the air is. Moist. What's up with the word moist? I don't know. Moist is always this sort of, I don't know. It's 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 a funny word, moist. Uh, but yeah, it's true. Like it was, um, I, I mean, I like warm. I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I like warm weather much more than cold weather. I'm not made for cold weather. Um, and and I I I mean I don't want to say that I am made for warm weather, but I definitely prefer warm weather over cold weather. Um, but yeah, like the humidity is usually pretty high, pretty pretty high in here over here. So then you know like when it's when it's high, um, when the temperatures are high, then it gets like very humid and like very clammy, and you are like you want to take off all your clothes. That's why I love wearing like sports gear. Because it usually is like a little bit more breathable. It's like a little bit more airy. It's not like cotton that it sticks to your body. Um, I like that. I like that. So yeah, that's also why I'm wearing this this T-shirt today. I have no idea. This is a soccer uh, a soccer shirt. Um, I have no idea what club it is. I think it's. I, I feel that it's um, FC Real Madrid or like FC Barcelona. If anyone recognizes this logo. Let me know what it is because it doesn't say like this is the sponsor, so it doesn't say what team this shirt is from. Uh, I just got this shirt because I wanted to get I wanted to have white soccer kit because I like, you know, white is nice. Uh, and also it has pink on the side. It has pink on the side. And as I'm a pink, you know, a pink puppy and I love pink, I was like, hey, it got pink on the side. Let's go. Um, that's the only reason that I got this shirt. I, I, I don't even know what team it is. It is Real Madrid. OK, thank you all. Thank you. Yeah, I was like looking at the at the logo. I was like, okay, I see an F, I see a C, I think I see an M, but I didn't necessarily see like an R. So I was like, mm, yeah, I didn't, I didn't like, yeah, I don't know. But thank you, thank you. Yeah, there we go. Um. Uh, yeah, we're starting to freeze a bit down here now. Starting to st stay in the low tens for longer of the day now. Oh yeah, low tens. Yeah, like that is also kind of cold. Uh, not gonna lie. But, you know, that is like, you know, that, I feel that is like our average temperature, like, you know, with between 10 and 15 degrees, something like that. Uh, OMG, it works. Yeah, so I fixed. I don't know what I did. I didn't actually do anything, but I fixed the lamp. Um, so it's working again. I don't know what I did because I didn't really do. I was I was about to go on the discord yesterday and I wanted to take a screenshot of the issue that I was having. Uh, so I was I was opening the app. 
And all of a sudden, I see the lamp behind me turn on. I was like, wait, it wasn't supposed to work. Um, but then it worked. So I was like, yeah, I can't really um, make a screenshot of something that works and say it doesn't work. So um, yay, it works again. <laughs> I don't understand why sponsors are always bigger than the club logo. That is a very good point, yeah, because if you if you wouldn't know that, you would think that this is FC Emirates fly better. Um, but but it's not. It's 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 FC Real Madrid. We we just learned. Um, but yeah, no, I totally agree. That is like you know the sponsor is so much bigger. That is very true. Maybe because they pay a lot of money. I don't know. Maybe maybe that's why. Why do soccer players fly? Because they have to play all over the world, because they don't just play in like one place, they go all over the world. So I guess that's why, maybe, I don't know. Guess it connected to the right network again. I mean, it should have done that yesterday as well, um, but or like the other day, but it, like, yeah, I don't know. If they swam and took forever, they would get, you know, good bodies though. I mean, I'm, I'm, I feel that soccer players usually already have pretty decent bodies, you know, I'm not gonna lie, but if they would swim, they would get even better bodies. However, um, you know, it would take so much longer too. So yeah, it's kind of like, it would be better for the environment as well though, I'm not gonna lie, it would be better for the environment. And then they could have sponsors like, like Speedo or um, Orca or, you know, who like, you know, wetsuit sponsors or like swim arena, swimwear sponsors, you know, they could have those kind of sponsors. So, you know, so they could sponsor their, you know, wetsuits to swim in, or their speedos to swim in, or you know, something like that. Instead of Emirates, fly better. So yeah. Have the 18 plus toy shop doesn't sponsor soccer teams. I feel there have been funny, like you know, quote unquote funny sponsors before. Like I've, I've, like I've seen it in the news. Again, I don't follow soccer, so I have like no idea. But I feel like I've, I've seen it in the news. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Would be funny though, like Pornhub, like massively on the front, like Pornhub. <laughs> Imagine that though. Imagine that. That would be something. That would be something. They do, but you don't notice it. Yeah, maybe they do, but they don't have like they don't sponsor the T-shirts. So maybe that's the thing. Anyway, chat. Um, I'm hoping you guys are looking forward to the game today. So I think we're gonna. There was something with that Dutch web shop. Don't know if I if I am like oh yeah I know what you mean I know what you mean I, I can't say that I that I instantly know the reference that you're making um but yeah um anyway so we're gonna play uh, like I said before we're gonna play punk today um I'm gonna post this thing which I can find easily online yeah see I, I I think it's fake I think this is fake chat um, because it also says Pornhub FC. So I don't think this is real. I do love the color scheme though, like the orange and black, and it looks really nice. It looks like a very nice, comfortable t-shirt as well. Looks like a really comfortable t-shirt, but I don't think it's real, because I don't think there's an actual Pornhub FC. <laughs> um, so yeah, giant bad dragon logo on the back of the shorts. Oh, that would be something. Like if they could actually like have some sort of like proper placement of it as well, that would be funny. That would be funny. California bad dragons versus the Arkansas Mr. S team. No, I mean the San Francisco Mr. S team, of course, although San Francisco is also in California, but you know, still. I don't know where Bad Dragon is, like what their headquarters is. Wait, can we find that? I'm just gonna Google it. Bad Dragon headquarters. My Google history is gonna be like, what the hell? Phoenix, right, Phoenix, Arizona. Oh yeah, I th yeah, I think it is literally in Phoenix, Arizona. Interesting. Where is Bad Dragon Company located? Yeah, Phoenix, Arizona. So it would be uh, f the Bad Dragons from Phoenix, Arizona against the uh, San Francisco Mr. S leather team from San Francisco, California, I guess. Had to pick two states to make the joke work. <laughs> Easy Toy sponsors FC Emin. Oh, they do. See, there you go. There you have an adult toy store that sponsors a local uh, soccer team. I mean, lo not local to me, but like local to like, you know, the Netherlands. There you go. Didn't know that, which again, you know, like I said, I don't really follow soccer. So like, you know, I don't really know that much. Um, all right, I think we can go play some games chat. Let's just go ahead and jump in the game. Uh, I started it up yesterday because I wanted to make sure that things were working. Uh, I also had to like link my um, 
uh, my, my Twitch account and stuff like that. Um, which apparently I have to do again. Oh wait, no I don't, I know, N never mind. Um, also, I feel this is way too loud, hang on. Uh, this is all correct. Your Twitch, yeah, my Twitch. All right, why is this not working? You guys, you guys should see something, it's not, oh, there we go, there we go. Hello, honey, hello, hello. All right, we're not using the camera because I'm using my own camera in here. All right, so this is the main, um, I'm also gonna be, also a full disclosure, I'm also gonna be um, uh, recording stuff today. Um, so just so you guys know that I will be, um, I will be recording things as well because I'm going to be making a video of this game uh, as well, which I guess most likely will come out on the YouTube channel next Monday. Um, little loud still. All right, let me lower that. How is this? Is this better? Um, okay, then I will stop talking about sponsors. <laughs> 100 better? Okay, good. Good, I like that. Uh, hey, Loki! Mostly lurking, but hope you're having a good one. I am! Hope you are having a good one as well. Thank you for being here. Um, yeah, so I am gonna be recording... Uh, let me turn off my own music, though. Uh, I am gonna be recording um, some stuff for YouTube, so uh, the gameplay and stuff like that. Uh, weirdly enough, one thing that I noticed... I still feel that this is way too loud. Uh, again, I wish that I... Uh, that... Uh, that my mixer had sub submixes, but they don't yet. They will in a future update, but not yet. Um, one thing that I thought was weird is that when I set this to my actual resolution, 1920 by 1080, it is not as crisp as I want it to be. So I specifically set it to one higher, 1440, because then it was actually more crisp. Oh, you guys can't, don't type anything just yet, because it's not going to work. You can't join just yet. Um, one thing that I wanted to do first is I wanted to start with the um, free play. So I'm going to be doing my recording thingy. There we go. I wanted to start with the free play. So there's various free play games. Um, I, I haven't played any of these just yet. So we're just going to go through them. Uh, and we're just going to play a couple of them. And then after that, I wanted to see if we could do the Punk Royale, which is basically like a Battle Royale type game mode uh, within this. So let's just start with the first one, I guess. Punk relations. Are they siblings or dating? Again, I've never played any of these, so I guess we're going to have to find out. Um, okay, so how to play. Are they siblings or dating? Enter one if siblings and two if dating. All right. Siblings or dating. I guess the only thing that you guys have to do is type in one or two in chat. So these people, are they siblings or are they dating? I'd say... I'd say they are dating. I'm hoping this is going to work, by the way, because I, I haven't been able to test this. So let's let's find out if this is going to work. I haven't I don't see any of you come on come on here just yet, but uh, let's see. Oh, wait, time's up collecting from chat. OK, there we go. So you guys send in your you have time to send in your um, your stuff and then later it's going to collect everything from chat. All right, let's see how we're going to do. We have a couple of ones, couple of twos. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, so we've got two people, we've got three people that think siblings, five people that think dating. They are siblings! Oh, nice! Alright, look at that. So we have Trix, Martin and Miles that actually were correct. Yeah, there's no need to join. You don't have to join. In this game mode, you can just, you can just type in one or two or you like, you know, any other number. In the Punk Royale mode that we're gonna play after this, in that one you do have to join. But this one you can just type in the numbers. Alright, well, well done. Let's go to the next one. All right, siblings or dating? Uh, I think these, we might we might be in for a surprise, but I would say these are siblings. Then again, they could be dating. We, they could be throwing us for a bone here. I don't know. It could be both. It could go either way. We're gonna find out. Let's see. Got a couple of ones, couple of, th oh, just one one, couple of twos. My gaydar goes off. Yeah, I, I don't know. We're gonna find out. Are they siblings or are they dating? Three more seconds, two, one. All right, so most people thought they were dating. I was the only one that thought they were siblings and I was correct. Look at that, I was the only winner, which now puts me in the lead. I I, I was, I, I, I see the, how you guys thought. I, I was also thinking like, maybe this is a trick question. You know, you don't know, you don't know it, but it wasn't a trick question. Apparently they were actually siblings. All right, next one. I think this is the last round. Yeah, round three. Siblings or dating? Ooh, this is a tricky one, I'd say. This is a tricky one. 
I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go with dating. I'm gonna go with dating. Got a couple of ones, couple of twos. Chat is undecided. It could go either way. Ten more seconds to collect everything from chat. It could go either way. Hey, this, this one is hard. This one is hard. All right, let's see. Oh, it's evenly distributed. Four, four. Oh, they were again siblings. Heck. Well, let's see. We got Martin in the lead. Martin actually won this. I think this was the last round. So Martin won this. Well done. And then Miles in second place. I'm in third place. Trix in fourth place. Peter is in fifth place. And Abajesus in sixth place. Too bad. Uh, unfortunately, Olm and Tago, you didn't get any points. Because, you know, you, you didn't enter right. But there we go. That was the first game. That was a fun one. I like that. Let's see. We can go with another one. Guess where the image is taken. Punk places. All right, let's do another one. Uh, I'm going to quickly do this. You lost, but you are still a winner in our book, Orm. You are still a winner in our book. That one may be tricky. Yeah, guess where the image is taken? Um, There we go. Guess where the image is taken? That, that seems like a fun one. So let's play Punk Places. Same idea. Guess where the image was taken? Enter a number from one to three. So there's three options this time instead of two. Um, all right, let's go with the first one. Guess where am I? Round one. There's three rounds again. Ooh, is this Germany, UK, or France? I'm gonna go... Ooh, I'm gonna go with three. I might be wrong, though. It might be... Oh, there we go. Okay, well, that, that settles it. Uh, that settles it. <laughs> yeah, that last one, that, that dialed it in. <laughs> Got a couple of ones. Uh, one, one, couple of twos. Couple of threes. Yeah, the last one was, um, yeah, that was pretty definitive. Let's see. Five people in the UK, three in France, and it was in France. Streamer tricked us. No, I, I didn't. I didn't know there were going to be three images. Uh, but look at that. Myself, Peter, and Olm. Olm, look at that. You are on the board this time. Well done. Congratulations. Let's go to the next one. We, can't, we cannot change answers, good to know. Yeah, so I think also that you see the timer in the top. I think anything after that timer, when it says on the screen, like, collecting from chat, anything after that, I think, won't be counted as well. So you need to be in before the initial timer stops. And then once it's done, it's collecting everything from chat, but you can't change your answer anymore. Um, and I think, indeed, the faster you are, the more points you get. So, like, if you get it in the first image, you get more points than you get it in, like, the last image. All right, next up. Next one. Where are we? Are we in North Korea, Afghanistan, or Ecuador? This is hard. This is hard. I'm going to go with Afghanistan. I don't know why. Oh, this might give it away, though. I don't know. Do we? I don't know. Do we, do we have, like, a language or something? It's Ecuador because of the language. Well, let's see. Time's up. Oh, it's it's pretty divided. We were in... Where were we? What is that? Ecuador? I think it was Ecuador. Looks South American to me. Oh, you are in the lead. Well done. Tago was also correct. Uh, which now puts you on the board as well. Well done. Congratulations. Orm is in the lead. All right, next up. Last one. Last round. Where was this picture taken? Turkey, Tunisia, or Mexico? I'm going to go with this. I don't know why. I've never been to any of these countries, so like I wouldn't know. I've never been to either of these countries. But I feel that my choice does have a language that is like, you know, similar to like, you know, this one, Arabic. So let's see. All right, collecting everything from chat. I love the music as well. The music is nice. I like it. All right, most people voted for Tunisia, one for Mexico. It is Tunisia. So everyone that voted for that, congratulations. All right, so here's the final scoreboard. We got Orm in first place with 412 points. Uh, myself in second place, 300, uh, 304. Tago in third place. Uh, tied with Peter, actually, both 266. 
Uh, Trix in fifth place with 151, and then Miles in sixth place with 148 points. Well done, congratulations. And we've moved up to fifth, yay. I won upside down. Yeah, yeah, you are. Yes, you did. Yeah, if you look at it upside down, then you also won. All right, let's see. I mean, I don't want to do all of these because I definitely want to do a Punk Royale mode as well, uh, which is going to take a little bit longer than these games, but I wanted to go through a couple of these. Uh, let's see, Punk Away. Which character is away, not on the chalkboard? Punk and Count. Count how many monsters are left. Punk Blitz. Pick the item according to the shape and color. Punk Doll. Find the doll with the most mini dolls inside. Punk Snack. Which colored snack has the largest area? Or Punk Raid. Raid the most coins. Ooh, let's do Snack because we all love snacking. Um, I mean, we talk about snacks. We talk about snacks on the channel like all the time. Um, so let's just let's play Punk Snack because, you know, we, we, we have we talk about snacks and food all the time. So let's just do that. Punk Snack. Looks like I know more about geography than relationships. <laughs> Let's see how to play. Which colored snack has the largest area? So I guess in this case, it is the yellow one has the largest area, but I'm assuming they're going to make it slightly harder than this example image. Uh, four options this time. One true four. Uh, so let's just see what this game is all about. Let's play it. Round one. Which colored snack has the largest area? Oh, yeah. So these are definitely more tricky. Red, yellow, blue, or brown? I'm gonna go with... I'm gonna go with blue, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It might it might be the wrong one. Maybe, maybe it was too obvious. Two more seconds, two more seconds. All right, collecting everything from chat. I think it's yellow after all. Yeah, it could be, or brown. Like brown is very spread out, but it might actually have the most surface area. I don't know. Let's find out. Yeah, it was brown after all. Well done. Well done. Good job. Which puts Abajesus, Tago, Miles, and Loki in on the board. Well done. All right, let's do another one. And again, faster gives you more points. All right, next up. Ooh, this is one that could be tricky as well. I'm going to go with um, two. Brown is also very dominant between those colors, so it's tricky. Yeah, I agree. This one, I feel this is going to be a close one. Five more seconds to get, get your votes in. All right, let's collect everything from chat. Couple more seconds. This one was really tricky. I feel that there was not necessarily a very definitive one that stood out. Ooh, looks like it's yellow. Also, I love those characters. Those characters that are like, you know, on the board are so cute. All right, nice. Um, This is the new scoreboard. Oh, uh, oh, Martin is the only one that hasn't got any points. So you still have one round to make up for that. One round to get some points on the board. Let's go for the last one. Bonus score. So if you score this one well, you get two points. Or, you know, twice and twice the amount of points. Um, it's tricky, tricky. I'm going to go with yellow, but I feel that it could be blue. It could be blue. I went with yellow, though. All right, collecting everything from chat. Also, these snacks, I mean, I don't know what kind of snacks they are, but they're super cute. I love these. They're so cute. Yeah, they look like cookies. Ooh, it was blue. Oh, man. It was blue. All right, there we go. Everyone on the board has some points. Uh, we've got Miles in the lead. Congratulations. Well done. Uh, Loki in second place. Trix third place. Peter in fourth place. Olm fifth. Martin sixth, myself seventh, Abajesus in eighth place, and Targo in ninth place, but everyone on the board got some points in, so congratulations, well done. Well done. Alright, so I think those were definitely some fun some fun solo games. Um, seeing as we have a couple of people here now, um, seeing as we have a couple of people here now, what I want to try out next is the Punk Royale minigame mode. This is going to take a little bit longer. 
Um, but basically, this is a, as far as I understand, this is kind of like a battle royale type game where you can, you know, you can lose and then, you know, you can't play anymore the next round. Um, so I'm kind of feeling it's it's a little bit like that. Um, so also, if anyone wants to change the color of the lamp behind me to blue, I feel blue is a little bit nicer. Um, that would be awesome. But let's play some Punk Royale. Or oh, Aqua, that also works. I like it. So for this one, you have to type in join. You don't have to do exclamation mark. You can just type in regular join. Or it does work with exclamation mark as well. So I mean, uh, either works. So if you want to play, uh, type in exclamation mark join or join any of the two. And then we're just going to wait for a couple of, uh, you know, maybe like one or two minutes. So that everyone that wants to join in can actually join in. Uh, so, real mode is free for all. The last player standing takes all winnings. Uh, with VIP streamer, a special host will appear. Streamer can also play by enter join. Oh yeah, I, I want to play as well. I'm going to be uh, playing myself as well, obviously. After each minigame, a small percentage of players who scored the least will get eliminated, and scores from one minigame will not get carried over to the next minigame. So every time we start afresh. So again, if you want to play this uh, battle royale style game, uh, type in exclamation mark join in the chat. To put yourself on the board in the form of a cute little character. I love these characters. They're so cute. Don't you think they're like super cute? Also, I love those characters that are like, you know, around it. That are like in the audience, I guess. That are like cheering and everything. I don't know. I, I think they're super cute. The characters have cute randomized looks. Yeah, I, I think so too. I agree. Also, your message is actually on the screen there too. I'm pointing to the screen, but you know, yeah. And they say what chat says. Yeah, exactly. I love that. Where am I? Oh, there we are. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> that is so cute. That is so cute. I love it. All right. Anyone that wants to continue or that wants to join in, exclamation mark join is all you have to do to put your name on the board before we will start um, the first round. They are a chatty bunch. They are. Yes. And everyone is cheering them on. Look at all the more audience members. They're all cheering them on. They're all having an amazing time. I love it. All right. I'm going to set a, a timer for one minute. So we're going to have one more minute. If anyone wants to play, they can join in with exclamation mark join. And then after that minute, you can't see it, but it's a minute. Uh, after that minute, we will uh, start the game. So if you want to join in, exclamation mark join for the first Punk Royale mode of the evening. Also, Jordy is, Jordy is a furry, Pegasus. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I'm, I'm being called out on the on, on this game show. <laughs> All right, couple more seconds. 25 more seconds. Anyone that is in chat who wants to join, exclamation mark join for the first round of Punk Royale. We only need 449 more players. All right, 10 seconds before we're going to start. Five, four, three, two, one. And then it's going to go. It's, it takes actually like two more seconds before it actually goes. All right, let's go. Mini game time. Yeah, good luck, chat. Again, I have no idea what these mini games are going to be. So good luck to everyone. And hopefully, um, you know, may the odds be ever in your favor. Or something like that. Alrighty then. Next up is... Oh, what is that? What is that? I don't know what the name is. Oh, the sibling game again. Okay, so we're going to do the sibling game again. I was terrible at the sibling game, so... Um, it's either going to be good or bad for me. But you guys know what to do? Are they siblings or are they dating? Enter one or two in the chat. Are they siblings or are they dating? I'm gonna go with siblings. I feel they look, their eyes sort of look similar. They might, they have feel, I feel they have like similar faces. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. 
collecting everything from chat. Two more seconds. All right, you got a couple of people siblings, a couple of people dating. They are dating? Heck. Wow. Wow. We're judging books by their coffers here, by the way. That is very true. Yes, absolutely. All right, well done. Next up. Are they siblings or are they dating? Yeah, tricky. Also, it's funny. I wonder where they got these images and like if they if they are like if they actually just, you know, ask people like, hey, send us photos of yourself and then tell us if you are siblings or if they are dating. They are kibbling. Yeah, they it, it looks like they are. <laughs> Probably stock photos are stolen from Instagram. I don't know. Yeah, could be. All right. Most people think siblings. They are dating. All right, so almost everyone is on the board except for Peter. Peter is the last one that doesn't have any points, so you need to score next round to stay in the game, honey. I believe in you. You got this. All right, siblings or dating? Siblings or dating? All right, a couple more seconds. Got some ones, got some twos. I think a majority of people think they are siblings. A few more seconds to enter your answers. I think they are dating siblings. I don't think that's an option though. <gasps> They're dating? Wow. I did not see that. I did not see that. All right. Miles is in first place, Martin second, and Trix in third place. Peter doesn't have any points, so I'm not sure what's going to happen next, but, well, I guess we're going to find out. I don't want to kick out my, my husband, though, but, well. Oh, no! Peter is turned into prize money! No! <laughs> oh! Peter turned into prize money! So we have the giant ball of cash that now has... 1212. Ah, oh, man. Six remain. I'm so sorry, honey. I'm so sorry. I got away with that one. It's a cute little blob ghost now. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can still play, though. Ooh, all right, let's see. Match the item shown in the card. Note the shape and color. If the shape and color match exactly, then pick the exact match. Okay, if the shape and color do not match exactly, then pick the item that does not match in any fashion. Okay, so... Okay, so I'm not... I don't understand this game completely. But I think you need to pick the item that matches in shape and color. And if it doesn't match in any way, then pick the item that doesn't match at all. So in this case, nothing matches. So you need to pick the skull, which is the first item. It's basically pick the perfect match or pick what doesn't match. Yeah, exactly. It's like a card game from 909 Games. All right, let's 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 just go and let's just see what happens. Enter one true five to pick an item on screen. Do I need to pick like a um, match the item shown in the card, note the shape and color? Wait, do I need to do something though? Do I need to click? Oh wait, there we go. Okay, so we have this one. Can I move? Oh, crap, crap, crap. Ah! Okay, I think this works better. <laughs> Somewhat. Yeah, I'm gonna go with one, I guess. Price money already. I'm not sure if you can't play anymore though. Ooh, oh yeah, you got the, ah, uh, okay. I think I understand. I think I understand. Wait, um, let me try. Hang on, let's do this real quick. Uh, let me try something here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Uh, hang on, chat. I'm gonna. I'm trying to make sure that I can fit myself in. I didn't prepare for this. I didn't know that I was gonna be blocking stuff. All right, let's uh, save that real quick. Okay, I'm gonna move myself up. Like here. I think this should be fine. I think here should be fine. All right. Oh, I get it now. Yeah, I think I get it as well. I think... <laughs> I think I, 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 I... I'm not completely sure that I get it, but I think I have an idea of what how it works. All right, so we have a bottle and we have a book. I think none of these match. Oh wait, actually it does. The skull has the same color as the book. Oh wait, so I guess, crap, I, I think it should have been five. I think it should have been five. Yeah, that doesn't work anymore, but I think five was the one that we should have picked because the skull has the same color as the book. Yeah, I think it was supposed to be five. Because the, the, the that one, there was no chair. This game is tricky. Yeah, it definitely is. It definitely is. All right, last round. We need to get some points on the board before we become fish food. All right, um, I'm going to go with three. Yeah, this is definitely a tricky game. Music is nice, though. I like the music. All right, everyone voted three. Oh, well done. Okay, yeah, so we got the... Um, we, yeah, we got the gist of the game. We got the gist of the game. Oh, Miles is in last place. I'm not sure if that means that... You do have points, though, so we're going to see if that means that you become prize money as well, or if you survive another round. No, Miles is getting turned into prize money as well. Because you were in the last place. There comes the big bucket of kitten money. Oh, no, not Miles. All right, I think this is the last game. One more game. Hello, I'm prize money. <laughs> Next up is... Ooh, what game is that? Don't think we played this one yet. When the countdown reaches zero, count how many characters are remaining. Enter a number from 1 to 50. Close answers will earn more points. Okay, so there's a countdown. Once it reaches zero, count how many characters are remaining. Enter a number from 1 to 50. 1 to 50. All right. When the countdown reaches zero, count how many characters are remaining. Uh, okay, so this is the same. So this is this one says eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These two don't count, apparently. All right, let's go. So I think they're gonna they're gonna lose. So let's count first. Oh, they're gonna move as well. Crap. All right. Okay. Okay, I I I understand what we have to do. Oh, oh yeah, I was going to say oh, it needs to be between 1 and 50, but there we go. <laughs> there we go. All right. Let's see. How many were there? Mm -mm. Alright. One, two, three, ten. Oh, twenty! Did anyone have twenty? Tricks actually had twenty. One player got it. Wait, but uh wait, but Emma Jesus still got more points. Maybe because he was first or he was sooner. That is weird, though. I would say that Trix being like, you know, dead on money should have gotten more points. But apparently, apparently speed is also of the essence. So that's also good to know, chat. So 
Even if you are not 100% sure, speed is also very important, it seems. Alright, let's do another round. Ghosties! All right. Keeping an eye out on all of them. I'm in the wait. Well, I was in the way again. Crap. Wait. Okay. Wait. Let, I can make myself smaller. And and put myself here. <laughs> I don't have, I, I should, okay, this is actually a good one. Maybe I should make a scene where my head is like, where my webcam is next to the game scene so it doesn't block in any way. Maybe that's a good one. For games like this. I feel I'm very small now though, but okay. Let's see, one, two, three, 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 24. Did anyone have 24? Tricks again. I think Trix was again the first one that got 24. Well done. Trix, you are good at counting. Friends, hello. Hi, here's a better idea. What is that? Just make myself go away. Just like, you know, do this. <laughs> like no streamer at all. Use RTX broadcast to remove the background. Oh, yeah, so because then you have like this area here that is like not that. Yeah, I could do that. Although I'm not sure if my CPU would like, although I think it might just use. I can try that. I can try like making a scene with that. But for now, I mean, I, I don't have that set up, so we can't do that like for now. But like next time I could definitely do something like that. If I think about it. All right, let's see. Oh crap, this is... Okay, this one is tricky. Ooh, this is tricky. Ah, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, okay. I don't know. I may have miscounted here. Yeah, this one was really hard. This one was really hard. That's what she said. All right, collecting from chat. If Trix is again like spot on, well, that would be that would be something. Three times in a row. All right, let's see. If there's again someone that was spot on. Twenty four. <gasps> Trix again. With the 24, heck. Well, that, I mean, that is a deserved first place. Not gonna lie, that is deserved in first place. All right, Ohm in last place. So I'm guessing we're gonna lose Ohm to prize money again. Wait, all of us lose? Trix is the winner. What was the last game? Well, Trix, it looks like you are the winner. You go home with a whopping 4,738 punk bucks. Congratulations. Applause for you. Well done. Well done. Um, all right. Let's uh, put myself back here again for now. Well done. Continue. All right. We can do this another time. I, I feel uh, I, I thought it was fun. I think this was definitely fun. So we can do another round. Uh, we start over. So again, exclamation mark join. If you want to join in on the fun. We now know that it's going to be three games. So you kind of know how much time it's going to it's going to be as well. Um. So, yeah. I think the creator of the game saw Squid Game. Yeah, I, I maybe with like the prize money bucket as well. Yeah, that was funny. I like that. Yeah, Miles, you're back in life. You're not. You're no longer. Um, you are no longer um, prize money.
What do you guys think of the game, by the way, chat? What do you guys think of the game? Do you like it? <laughs> Hello, adoring fans. Um. All right, let me quickly post a message in our Discord. Um. Quickly just posted a message in our Discord. Maybe people will see that and want to join in as well. So we're going to give it a couple of minutes. Um, I'm behind the start button again. Yeah, I feel that I'm also the same character. So maybe the characters are sort of tied to your username or something in some somehow. I feel that some of the some of you have the same character again. Um, Let's see. It's a cute game, but I would get bored of it quickly. Yeah, I feel like this game, it did come out very recently. Um... So like they, I feel they add new mini games every month. At least that's the idea. They add new mini games every month. Um, so you know that's a thing. Also, there currently is a. Uh, I I have to send this. I have to share this with all of you. There currently is a uh, event that actually gets gets you uh, that puts you in like a uh, chance to win real life money. Uh, so I will post a link to that in chat if you guys are curious about like that event that is happening right now. Um, you can win, there's a tournament and you can win $600, uh, or there's a $600 prize pool. So, you know, all the details are in that link over there. It's a nice game. I love how easy it is to join. You don't need another browser page. Yeah, I like that as well. That's, that's the one thing that I feel is like sometimes annoying with, um, with, uh, with, with Jackbox is need that you do need to have like, you know, like you need your phone, like a tablet or something like that. You need to have like a browser page open. Um, and like, um, yeah, that is, that is definitely like a thing. That's definitely like a thing. I like how this is just taking place within Twitch chat. So you don't need to have like a browser open or like your phone out or anything like that. Um, you can just, you can just play it within Twitch. So I like that. It's fun, but the chat delay isn't helping me. Yeah, so that's that's definitely one thing, of course, that there is always going to be like a delay between like the streamer and um, like, you know, you guys, the viewers. Um, so, yeah, that's definitely a thing. That's definitely a, that's definitely a something that is like you need to take into consideration with the game like this. So I feel that maybe the initial countdown phase should be slightly longer. I think it's now like 10, 10 to 15 seconds, something like that. Maybe it should be slightly longer. Um, then again, I do feel that it does take into account the, um, like when it says collecting everything from chat, I feel that it does take into account if you, if you send it after that point. But yeah, no, there's always going to be like the, the, like a delay is always a factor that, you know, like games like these have to deal with. So that's a very good point. All right, I think, um, ping? Wait, was that ping? Was that for like, so you could see it down below? It's behind me, just, it's just ever so slightly behind me. Or did you ping so you could see whether or not I will say ping? All right, Let's give it a couple more seconds. So the people that may have seen the Discord message can also join in. Probably paying to see if their character is alive. I don't think Renz is actually on the board, so I don't think um, it was. We just restarted the app to see if the delay got better. Ah, and did it? Did it get better or did it get worse or did it stay the same? <laughs> Those are the three options. <laughs> uh, all right. If anyone wants to join in, if you are in chat, you want to join in on the games, type exclamation mark, join. There we go. We got Pog Esports. Welcome on in. Hello. It's about five seconds. I know that on desktop you can also um, on desktop you can also uh, look at the uh, the nerdy video stats, which I believe shows you the um, the delay as well. But I don't think you can do that on mobile. 
All right, a couple more seconds, chat. Exclamation mark, join if you want to join in. And then we're going to press the start button for another round of Punk Royale. And everyone that is uh, joining us tonight, thank you so much. I can appreciate it. Hopefully you guys are having fun. We're going to play a couple of uh, a couple more games, I guess, before jumping into uh, another game for the evening. Uh, which I'm not sure what that is as of yet, but, you know, you have transcribing on today. Oh, transcoding. Oh, nice. Yeah, transcoding on Twitch is always uh, hit or miss. You either have it or you don't. All right, I'm going to hit the start button. If you want to join in, you got a couple more seconds, exclamation mark, join. Do it now or forever hold your breath. For another round of Punk Royale. Here we go. Next up is... Ooh, Punk Blitz again. Okay, wait, I'm going to move myself. No, wait, I don't have to with this game. Never mind, I don't have to with this game. Or do I? I think I had to move. Let's just move myself here for now. For the duration of this game. Good luck! Alright, I'm just gonna move myself here. There we go. Um, that's better. The easy game. Yeah, so for this one, again, we know what to do. Match the objects shown in the card. Know what the shape and color. If the shape and color match exactly, then pick the exact match. If the shape and color do not match exactly, then pick the item that does not match in any fashion. Alright? Here we go. I love the character. Like, the little character in the middle. That is so cute. I love, I love them. All right, here we go. First card. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ooh, this one is tricky. No, it's not. I know which one it is. I don't hate the music. I feel the music can be a little bit repetitive, though. Like, I don't hate it. But it could be better. All right, everyone chose number two. Which means that everyone gets points except for uh, Pock Esports. But maybe better luck next time. Um, all right, next round, let's go. Oh, we got a skull reading a book. Mm, 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 mm. This game is definitely tricky. I'm having a five second delay between putting my answer in and it's registering. What I noticed with this game is that it definitely... Um, it takes like a couple of seconds to... So because I, I, thought it, I, I thought it was going to end to four. Then I was like, no, because that is orange and the skull is also orange. So it takes like... This is definitely a tricky game. You really need to think with this one. All right, everyone gets points again, except for POQ Esports. Last round of this game. Okay, we got a ghost and a skull. Um, okay, I feel that everyone in chat now understands the game. <laughs> I think most people now understand the game, so... Hey, hello! Good to see you! Hey, look at that! It's actually the uh, punk world! Thanks so much for the follow! Welcome to Delicious People! How are you doing today? Ah, oh, Miles, you missed on that last one! Hey! You missed on that last one! But... Make an item with different color and shape, unless there's an exact match. Yeah, we, we played this game before, like we did like one round of this game earlier. Um, and it was a little bit tricky. We were like, wait, what do we exactly need to do? But like after one round, we were like, ah, yeah, that's how it works. So we got it after one one game. This is definitely, I, I really like this game. This, this one is so far, I think, one of my favorite games yet. I'm doing great. How about you? I'm doing good too. Thank you for joining. Uh, I can appreciate it. Uh, I'm doing good. Having fun with uh, with this. Now I'm unstoppable. Yeah, look at that. Trix in first place. But I'm coming after you, Trix. I'm in second place. Uh, and Punk World, thank you so much for those 100 biddies. I can appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, let's see. I think POQ Esports, you are turned into prize money, which makes everyone else happy because that just makes the pot go up. 
Uh, but thank you so much, Punk World, for the 100 biddies. I can appreciate it. All right, let's see. The prize money is now currently at... 2,399 Punk Bucks. All right, next game is coming up in eight seconds. Hey, Datoro, how are you doing? Welcome on in. Beep boop. High prize money. Yeah, it's quite a bit. It's quite a bit. All right, next up we have... Oh, we haven't played this one yet. I think this is a new one. We haven't played this yet. Pick an ice cap and take the most coins to win. But I think if more people pick your ice cap, then you won't get all those points, I think. Players on the most crowded ice cap do not get coin. Wait, we'll get no coin? Okay, so I think you need to make sure that you don't pick the one with the most money and get greedy. Mm, no, I'm gonna go with this one. I think more people that are on a um, on an ice cap, I think the more people on there, you will have to divide your coins, I think. I think that's how it works. So technically, I think it's like a better... Mm, okay, I, I have a strategy for next round. I have a strategy for next round for myself. Because I see some people picking the same one as I did. So we got nothing! Heck! Miles, Peter, and Martin, you got some coins, but we didn't get anything. I have a strategy, but it doesn't work. It's a bit silly that you can see what everyone does. Yeah, that's of course, yeah, that's the downside of using a Twitch chat. You can see what other people do, that's very true. Alright, I got a, I got another strategy. Okay, this time I'm gonna go with this one. And I'm gonna wait for a little bit. Okay, I'm just gonna put it in. I'm just gonna put it in. Couple more seconds, get your points in, get your votes in. All right. Ooh, let's see. Those everyone gets points. Well done. Everyone is on the board except I am in the last place. So I really need to step up my game if I don't want to turn into prize money. Last round. Ready? Go. Go. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. I have to say, the music makes me just bounce along, like, automatically, though. It's like you, you can't stop bouncing around and dancing along to the music. It's just very catchy. I love the art style of this game as well. The art looks really nice. Ooh, does everyone get points again? Everyone does, but I'm still in last place. Heck, I'm still in last place. We all know what that means, chat. I, the streamer, get turned into prize money. It's over for me. It's over for me. I hope you enjoy my... I, I hope you enjoy my, uh, my, my contribution to the prize pot. Which is now at 5,449 punk bucks. All right, 10 more seconds. The last game coming up. When there's 100 plus people playing this game, I think it's harder. Yes, I think as well. I think as well. Ghost streamer. Yeah, I think when more people are playing, then I think it's definitely a lot harder to... Alright, find the doll with the most mini dolls inside. Try not to blink during the shuffle. Okay, so this is again a new one. We haven't played this before. Find the doll with the most mini dolls inside. Try not to blink during the shuffle. Okay, you guys ready? Here we go. Even though I can't participate, I'm still gonna join in. I'm gonna look. Ooh, okay, okay, I... Okay, I understand, okay, I think... Oh, wait, no, I don't get it. Hmm, I don't think I get it yet. Okay, one, two, three, four, or five. I'm not entirely sure if I understand the this game just yet. Because in my mind, all of them had the exact same number, but... 
in my in my mind, all of them had the exact same amount of dolls inside. You see how many dolls go in and then you have to follow? Yeah, but I thought all of them had the same go in, but maybe I was just focused on, on a single one. Which was, of course, my bad. <laughs> all right, collecting from chat. Most people voted for. Trix was the only one voted to. So let's see. Ooh, well done, four. Ah, oh, Trix, Trix is actually crying. That is so sad. No worries, though. You still have time to redeem yourself with the next round. Okay, I'm going to pay more attention. See if I can actually follow along as well. Uh, here we go. Next round. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. I Yeah, I see it now. Okay, I see it now. Okay, I know which one it is. I think. I think I know which one it is, but I can't vote anymore. But I think I know which one it is. Couple fours, couple fives. Couple more seconds. All right, let's see. Collecting everything from chat. Got two fives, couple of fours. And the people who voted five. They did well. But Tricks, look at that. You're not in last place anymore, so well done. Peter is currently taking the lead. Martin, Miles, and Orm. One of you is gonna have to uh I think step up. Although anything can still happen. Anything can still happen. You have this follow game and brain training on the Wii and I won gold there. Nice. I still need to beat Peter this round or he wins it all. I, yeah, that might be true. I'm not exactly sure if that is correct, but yeah, that might be true. All right, last, last round. Give it your all. Here we go. Two times bonus score as well. So you get more points this time if you got it correct. Shuffle. That last shuffle. That got me. Alright, we got one, two, couple of fives. And a couple more seconds as well. It didn't trick me. I hope. <laughs> Let's find out. Let's find out. If it did or not. If it did, we both lost. Oh, it did trick you! It was one! Nobody won this time. Nobody won. I want to recount. Well, I mean, we, we literally saw. We literally saw. So let's have a look. Yay, Peter is the winner of the game. Everyone else turned into prize money. Let's see how much you won. You're going home with a whopping 6,399 punk bucks. Congratulations. I went for a speculative guess. I'm going to spend you uh, to spend you all. <laughs> the prize money is bigger than when I won. Yeah, I don't know how that is calculated. Maybe we had like more players this time. I don't know. I don't know. But congratulations, honey. You did well. You did well. All right. Quickly uh, saving my recording there before we move on. Tiri ti tiri. All right, so one thing that I also want to have a look at. I love it has long hair and a mustache. Is it a boy or a girl? Maybe they are non-binary, like they don't necessarily have a gender. Um, we also have a versus mode, but I'm not sure if we can do that easily. The F asterisk C King winner. Yeah, you are. Thanks for the bits. Let's see, this one we should technically be able to invite other streamers in. 
and play against their communities, but I have no idea if this works. Invite a streamer or player to play the game. I mean, I can try. Oh, wait, wait, I'm actually calling someone now? Wait, wait, what is happening? <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, I think they hung up. I don't think they want to play with us. I have no idea how this works. Uh, because I know there's, all, like, th in terms of, like, modes... Um, let's go back. So yeah, there's only three modes. So we have Punk Royale, the one that we just played. We have Free Play. Uh, Invitation and Failed Streamer is busy. And then we have Leaderboards. Can we see, like, Leaderboards here? So these are, like, you know, generic Leaderboards. Wait, we are on place 24. Wow, I'm on 24. Look at that. Not really doing amazing, but, you know, place 24. Um, today. Oh, today we're on 10th place. Nice. Let's see, I kind of would like to play against, like, another streamer, but again, I have no idea how this works. Um, so we could try another another player, perhaps, another streamer. Let's just go with the, for this one, why not? Let's just see what happens. If anything, of course. But I think they're also busy. If they are busy, would you guys like to play another round of Punk Royale? Like one last one last round before we uh, before we switch out? Because we totally could if you guys want. Invitation failed. The streamer is busy. Okay, I think streamers are busy, so we, we can't really do the versus mode. Um. So let's just do one more round of Punk Royale. Um, let's, have we played all the games? Let's see, we've played... We haven't played Punk Away yet, and we haven't played... Oh, wait, I think that's the only one that we haven't played. We can also just do, like, a couple of more solo games. We can also do that. But let's 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 go with uh, Punk Royale, and then we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens. So anyone that wants to join in, exclamation mark, join. I think I'm, again, the same character. So I think your characters are, like, linked to your... Um... I feel they're linked to like your username or something in in somehow. Because Martin is again behind the start button. I can't move this either. I can't move around like, you know, the screen or anything like that. And I feel you are the same character as well. Oh, I'm not sure if you are the same character, you might. But I definitely feel that I am the same character as I was before. I am the same. All right. One second, chat. Walk left. <laughs> I mean, I, I can definitely give that as feedback. Um, there's a Discord channel for for this game. I can definitely give that as feedback to the um, um, to the developers that sometimes it might be tricky. Like sometimes your character might be um, might be like behind the start button. Um, so yeah. It was nice of the dev to visit the stream. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. That is always fun. All right. I think, we, uh, I think we're going to play with the four of us, which again is totally fine. I think four is the minimum amount of players that you need uh, for now, at least. I, I saw in the Discord that they that normally you need at least 10 players. Uh, but I think they lowered it to four because the game is still new. Um... I, and I definitely feel that like the lower, like the lower entry, I think is definitely better. I, th I personally think, um, because you know not everyone is able to, uh, you know, not all streamers are like super big, of course. So yeah, I don't know. I like it that 
you can also play it with less people. I think that's definitely good. All right. If anyone still wants to join, exclamation mark, join in the chat. Um, easier to win or lose. Yeah, it's easier to, well, I guess do do both. <laughs> Oh, we got Punk World joining in as well. Nice. Okay, chat, the devs are now playing. The devs are playing, so... Boot up your A-game! Because <laughs> they know all the tricks, of course. They know everything. Alright, I think that's it. So let's start the game. And as always... May the odds be ever in your favor. I hope we get to play the new game that we haven't played just yet. I hope we get to play that one as well, but we're going to find out. Let's see. Oh, which one is this? Is this a sibling game? Oh, no, this is the cookie game. Or the snack game. All right, so we know what to do. Which colored snack has the largest area? We know uh, what we have to do. So type in your number between one and four. Of which area has the most cookies in it? Again, it's tricky. Again, I, I can't really say for sure with like complete certainty which one it is. Again, I really love the, the visual style of the game. It looks so cute. And like, it, it has some sort of like, I don't know what it is, I can't really define it, but it has some sort of like softness over it that I really like. Ooh, yeah, blue is the winner. Well done. Well done. All right, next round. Ooh. This one is tricky. I would give us feedback so far, add more mini games, uh, just mini games to fit small streamers as well, coin rate specifically. Add more varieties of music, uh, especially in lobbies, a loop can get annoying really quickly. Yeah, I think I think that's some, definitely some good feedback. I will definitely put that um, in the Discord as well, in the feedback channel. I haven't seen if more people have said that already or not, but I will definitely put that in the, uh, in the feedback channel as well. I think that's definitely some good feedback. Ooh, there we go. Also, I think that technically, um, let's see, Punk World hasn't gotten any points yet, so hopefully they don't turn into prize money, but we're going to see. I think this is technically the place for your camera down here. But that is if you use the camera in game instead of like, you know, like I'm using, like I'm using it within OBS. I don't know. I might be wrong this time, but not sure yet. All right, time's up. Put your last answers in. Ooh! Oh! That was so close, though. That was so close. Well done. Martin's currently in first place with Ulm following close behind. Yeah, you did win. Which I guess means that Punk World is now turned into prize money. Which is, of course, sad. But also good because, you know, that means more prize money for all of us. So let's see how much is currently in the big cat of prize money 1855 punk bucks all right up to the next game let's see what it's gonna be oh the counting one again the counting one which i really had i i struggled with i thought this one was pretty pretty difficult so you guys know what to do again. I'm I, I'm behind, like you can see the entire screen, so you can't say that I am behind um, anything. 
I'm like, you know, everything is in, in everything is visible. So no, no telling me again that I'm blocking stuff. <laughs> I was on the phone. No, not not on the phone. Well, we do do appreciate you stopping by, of course, uh, Punk World. Thank you so much. Um, I'm definitely having a good time. This, I think, this game, like we we talked about this uh, a little bit just now, like with some people giving feedback as well, and I I definitely enjoying myself. It's still a new game. I think it came out like late last um, late last month. I want to say like in April. Um, and I, you know, like, I, I know you guys are adding new mini games, I believe, every month, or like new batches of mini games are coming in every every month. And I think, like, the more mini games that are in the game, the more fun it's going to be eventually. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I, I definitely have some 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 points of feedback also that I collected from the uh, from the chat. I will put them in the Discord as well for you, for you guys to look over. Um, but overall, like, you know, like, it, as like a generic, um, you know, overall conclusion, I definitely feel that this game has a lot of potential. For like a community night streaming game um so yeah i know you didn't ask for my feedback i just sort of gave it <laughs> all right round one chan here we go okay All right. Heck, this one is still this one is still very difficult. I really struggle with this game. Cuz I the first time we played this, I hoped that I could still count them while they were counting down, but then, you know, the screen closes so you can't do that, which makes sense. But I really hope that, you know, there was still time to quickly count everything while um while we were like, you know, while the countdown was happening, but that's clever that that's not possible. All right, let's see how many were there. Ooh, let's see. 9, 12, 30, 40, 15, 7, 17. Did anyone have 17? No, we didn't. Nobody got 17. However, Martin, all everyone got points on the board. Well done. Well done. Uh, another feedback thingy would be to give bonus points, at least visibly, to people who are spot on. Yeah, that was, I was surprised by that as well, because last, I, I, I think last round, or like the last time we played this, you were, you were really like spot on all the time, but because you weren't first, you didn't get like, um, like bonus points in. Um, which I did, ex I, I mean, I, I, I would definitely expect like if you are, even though you are not the first to answer, but you are like, you know, completely spot on in terms of like how many there are, I would say that you would get more points because of that which maybe you did but indeed it's not it's not clear if you did all right next round all right Oh crap, crap, what is happening? Why am I typing something? Oh crap, I'm... Stop, I'm typing something. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, good. I think I pressed like one of my macro keys that I was just typing W all the time. Fixed it though. We're good. This one, I'm not sure how they disappear because with the bombs, of course, they explode. Um, But with the ghosts, I'm not sure how they... Um... How they disappear? They fade out. It's not as like visible as as with the um as with the bombs. Oh, I was one off. Ohm, wait, Ohm got it right though. It typed backwards. Wait, but you were spot on though, so it count. It took your first count then, I guess. Which is interesting because you need to enter between 1 and 50. So I'm, I'm wondering if it took like your first count of 72. Because you did get points. Uh, you guys can't see my cursor, but you did get points. I'm wondering if it counted um, that first answer. I don't know. All right, last round. 
of this game. What do we got? What do we got? So many. I think there were quite a few. Yeah, absolutely. I think there were definitely quite a few. This is a lovely um, soundtrack as well. The music of this game is pretty, uh, pretty nice. I counted 27. Yeah, I did as well. Home 28, Martin 23, Miles 21. Let's see. How many there were? All of them exploding and there were... Ooh, 24! Heck! Martin's still in the lead. I'm coming up close behind Miles third place. Oh, you are last place! Which I guess means that you get turned into prize money. No! Alright. Meaning that our prize money currently is at... 3,546 punk bucks. My money. Martin is dead set on winning. I think Peter won last round. Trix won first round. So you... Oh, we'll see. Who's going to win this round? Ah, oh, another game of punk blitz. Okay. We all know how to play this one, right? Like, we've played this before, so we all know how it works. I want first, Peter second, so we'll see who makes the trifecta complete. Yeah, exactly. All right. First card. Yeah, it's all or nothing. Get your votes in. Let's see if I was correct or not. Yeah, there we go. It's one because skull matches. Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought as well. That's exactly what I thought as well. All right, next round. You guys ready? Here we go. <laughs> the pressure. <laughs> yeah, I think it's one. I think we all got points for this one. Yeah, there we go. Nice. But Martin, you need to step up your game if you want to win this. You need to step up your game if you want to win, if you want to go home with all that money. Okay, last game. Last card. Um... Oh crap, I think I'm wrong. Crap, I think I'm wrong. Yeah, I made a mistake. Heck. Dang it. Yeah, that was that was dumb. That was that was a, I did an oopsie. So we're going to see if Miles is going to beat me. My chance to win and I failed it. Looks like you did. Ah, oh, but I'm still in uh, I'm still in first place. Wait, does that mean that the streamer actually won? Oh no, I won. <laughs> Yay, I won. Yay. Let's see how much I won. Thank you, thank you. That is one big full head of cat money. Let's see, I won 4,279 punk bucks. Nice. 
Well, I mean, if I pool my money together with Peter's money, then we can definitely do something fun, I guess. I mean, if I can pool this money with the money that Peter won, you know, we just pool it together. I love the tail and class. Yeah, the, my character has a, has a cool outfit. I think all of them are randomized, but I like how they are like how they are randomized. All right. Uh, that was fun. That was a lot of fun, chat. What do you guys think? I definitely thought it was it was fun. Set up the video call if you want to chat in versus mode for max fun. Uh, I do want to quickly take like a video of the versus mode. Um, so I'm gonna do like my my YouTube thing. Uh, and I want to play that one game that we haven't got to play yet. There's one game I, I feel they have we haven't got to play just yet, I think. Yeah, the Punk Away. I want to play that with all of you just like, you know, like as a, fr as a free solo game. Um, but yeah, the only mode that we haven't really got to play, and sadly, you know, I don't think we can play, even though there are more people playing, um, is the, uh, the Versus mode, which I, I believe you get to play against another streamer. I don't know how this works, though. Um, but I think this will allow you to play against another streamer's community. Um, I don't think I can challenge any of these. Um, I mean, we can try, we can just quickly try and see if there's anyone that wants to play, but... Let's have a look. I think not, because it, it, it cancelled out again. And we tried these before, so... Oh, the, the one that I just called is now gone as well. Yeah, so we can't really do the uh, the versus mode, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, there's always a Pub Rex. Wait, he's not in the list, though. I'm not sure if Rex is online and has the game. Yeah, no, that, that as well. Okay, let's just play uh, one last game of Punk Away. We haven't played that yet. So let's do a last game of that. Okay, so this is Punk Away. Um, which character is away, not on the chalkboard? So we have various characters that are on the chalkboard, and then you need to pick the character that is not in this list. That is how it works. So pick the character that is not in the list that is on the chalkboard. Um, you don't have to type join anymore. You can just type in your number. Um, so this is, again, like one of those free play games. So you don't have to type join. Just type in the number if you want to play. All right, let's go. And there's three options. One, two, or three. Who is away? I think I know this game from... Um, Pokemon Stadium. I feel Pokemon Stadium on the Nintendo 64 had a similar game to this one that I always liked. This is also a Mario Party minigame. Oh, maybe I know it from Mario Party then. I, I don't know. Maybe I know it from that. I thought I knew it from Pokemon Stadium, but maybe, maybe it's in both. Maybe it's in both. I don't know. All right, everyone voted for two, which is correct. It's not on the board. So well done. All right, everyone got points. False answer or grant higher bonus points. All right, next round, let's go. Round two. Who's away? Ooh. Now with this game, I like I, I think with most games, with like definitely with a game like this, you know, there is of course streamer benefit. Like I can see things sooner than you guys do because of delay. Um, so that you could argue like, is it fair of the streamer to participate in these games as well? Because I don't have a delay, of course, you guys do. Um, so yeah, that's like something you could argue. But everyone voted two again. And that is, I mean, yeah, I don't see it. So it is correct. Well done. Yay. Yeah, so I, me being in first place, maybe not super fair. So let's say Trix is in first place. Let's just say that. All right, last one. Feedback of the game allowed the amount, uh, this set to amount of rounds. I, oh crap, I, I mistyped. I mistyped. It's three. Dang it. Streamer failed. Yeah, I did. I had my fingers on the one, two, three buttons, I thought. 
But I actually had them until the 1 and 2. <laughs> Streamer benefit gone? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Whoopsie! I made an oopsie. Yeah, it was three. I love my character here, though. This is not the same character as I had in the Punk Royale, but it's a cute character. Look at me being sad, though, chat. I'm sad. I'm in last place all of a sudden. Heck. Which means that Trix indeed won. All right, all of these we've done, right? Relationships, Punk Places. Uh, punk Away, we just did that. Punk and Count. Punk Blitz, Punk Doll, Punk Snack, and Punk Raid. Is there any one game that you guys would like to play once more? As like a last thing, like do you guys want to play one more game or are you guys like, okay, I'm done with it? Um, or if it, is there one that you're like, I would love to play this again? Because then we can do that as like a last game for the evening before we switch into something else. Which I'm not sure what it's going to be yet. Uh, I didn't think, I haven't thought that far ahead, to be honest. <laughs> Maybe I should have done that. There is a game that I would love to play, but I didn't buy it yet and I haven't downloaded it yet. So I'm not sure if that's going to work. Um, but I'm, yeah. Let's see how big it is. Um, unpacking. I wanted to play, I wanted to get unpacking uh, because it's on sale right now. It's, I mean, I want, I wish there was like a bigger sale. Because it seemed, it, I wanted to get this game for a while. And I wish that the sale was a little bit bigger, but I haven't, I haven't bought it yet, obviously. Um, and I haven't been able to download it. Um, so, you know, that's also, a, that's also kind of a thing. All right, let's at least for now, um, well, Unpacking is also a short game, by the way. Oh, it is. I didn't know that. Uh, all right, for now, though, um, let's see if I can get my camera feed back to where it should be. There we go. And then let's turn this back on as well. Um, let's go here for now. Um, all right. That was fun though. So, so again, thank you guys so much for participating in that. Um, like I said before, I'm going to be, hello. Don't, don't fall down again, uh, microphone. Um, thank you guys so much for participating. Like I said before, the, uh, I will be, um, uh, I will be making a YouTube video of this game. I will, I'm going to make like a review and I'm going to be like talking about the game. Uh, so I'm going to record some stuff for that tomorrow as well. Uh, but I also re recorded all of our games so I can cut out pieces and I can show like everyone in the video, like what all these games are about, how they work, those kind of things. So thank you guys so much for joining on in. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you also had fun. Uh, I know I did. I definitely enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed myself. Um, so, um, so yeah, we might play this game more often. Uh, like I said, I believe that they plan on adding new mini games every single month. Um, so it came out last month. So it came out, I believe in like April. Uh, and I, I believe they add new mini games, or at least they plan on adding new mini games every single month. Um, so that's definitely, um, you know, that's definitely a, a good thing, I think. Um, let's see, it came out on April 22nd. Yeah, so it came out almost less than a month ago. Less than a month ago. Um, so yeah, they, they add new mini games every, every month. Um, so like in like maybe two months or three months, there's going to be more mini games as well. And then it's going to be like, you know, there's of course more, um, more stuff that we can do as well. So I think that's also good. When did I came out? I came out when I was, uh, 18. I don't want to say, I, I think it was 18, 18 years old. So yeah, that's been a while as well, man. That has been a long time. Now that I think of it, that has been a long time. Heck. Is my camera different? Not that I know it is. Like, is it different in a bad way or is it different in a good way? <laughs> uh, I do see my bit rate is slightly lower, so that might be affecting it. Um, but no, as far as I know, it's it shouldn't be different. It should still, I, I, at least I haven't changed anything. It should still be the exact same. Um, I think. Yeah. Maybe my chair is higher. Did your camera record in 1080p? Uh, it did. Uh, well, I'm not sure if I've set it at 1080p because of um, some other reasons, but it should technically record in 1080. 
I don't think I have it. No, I, ha I have it at almost 1080. I have it at almost 1080. Um, for, I think I did that for processing reasons, because like when I'm in like, when I'm like in this scene, of course, then 1080 would be visible and would be notable. Um, but like, you know, in my game scene, then of course 1080 is not really noticeable because I'm super smaller and, you know, the higher the, um, the quality, um, the more, you know, processing and, and encoding and everything it needs to do as well. So, uh, that's why I have it set to slightly, slightly below that. I'm higher than usual. Maybe the stream is just better quality. I have no idea. I didn't change. I, I didn't change anything. Let's just leave it at that. I didn't change anything. In the future, I would love to get a better camera. I would love to get the um, um, Panasonic GH5, but that thing is expensive as heck. Uh, I, I keep hoping that I can find it like as a good deal, uh, like secondhand or something like that, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. So, yeah. That's an amazing camera, though. Uh, which I would I would love to get that one at some point because I can also use it for like, you know, like Instagram content and stuff like that. Vlogs and all that kind of th stuff. But for now, we keep using the trusty Logitech. What is it? C922, I think it is. Um, all right. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really not sure. Unless you're saying that Jordy is good looking, then yes. Oh, stop it, chat. I'm not wearing my pub hood today, okay? So you guys can actually see me blush and make me blush. So, you know, don't make me blush. <laughs> um. Anyway, I'm going to first take a quick break. And then while I'm on my break, I'll try to think about the game that we can play next. We might be playing some City Skylines. I would love to play, um, like I said, Unpacked. I would love to play that at some point, but... um. I haven't bought it yet and you know I wanted to, I wanted to get it on the sale but like because I know it's not a super long game I didn't want to pay I didn't want to get it for like the price that it is on right now uh I think it's like 16 bucks right now um so 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 I mean I would love it if it was like you know 10 bucks or 12 but 16 is still uh a little bit too much because I feel that it's you can you can finish it quite quickly as well so uh, I think we're going to get something else. We're going to play something else. Um, so yeah, if it doesn't respond in chat in one minute, he's definitely cute. Oh, wait, I need to in chat. Was that in one minute? Crap. I don't know if that was in one minute. <laughs> 16 euros is still a bit too much for a sale. Yeah. Yeah. Like I think it's normally like 19 or 20, maybe 19 or 20. Um, so yeah, let's chat the side. I'm not going to start a poll. I'm, I know that my mods will probably be like, let's start a poll. I'm not going to start a poll because I know what you guys, I, I know what you guys are going to vote. Um, also, I want, I, I want to get like, I want to make, or I want to have at some point, I want to have like a widget on screen as well, that if we do polls that they are actually visible. Uh, I can't make something like that myself though, so I probably need to download it from somewhere. I know that, I, I believe there are resources available that make like a, um, uh, a poll widget. Um, so yeah, wait, who made that, who made that poll? Wh which of my mods made that poll? Peter is not here anymore, I think. So who was it? Who was it? Who made that poll? I'm going to vote in the poll as well. Just saying. <laughs> I'm going to vote in the poll as well. Who was it? Can I see that? Can I see who it was? Crap, I can't see who it was. I, 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 I'm I looking at my mod dashboard and I was like, maybe I can see it there, but I can't. So you guys, you guys got away with it. You guys got away with it. With making a poll without me knowing it. Look at this chat. Look at this. Right there. See that? Is he cute? Six people voting on yes. Only one person voted on no. I don't know who that was. I just came here to vote. Lies, chat lies. This is a long poll too, by the way. All lies. What is what is that from the from Austin Powers? 
Lies! <laughs> Isn't that like from Austin Powers? Oh man, heck. You guys. You guys are too sweet. Y'all are too sweet. I hope you know that. I just bought bits so I can vote again. Wait, is that a thing? Wait, 17 votes? Wait, heck, what is happening? 17 votes? How, how can we have 17 votes saying yes? How is that possible? Did you guys vote with your channel points? You can use 10 bits to add a vote. Wait, you can? Wow. See, 9 people in chat, but 17 people think you are cute. That is over 100% that think you are cute. Yeah, heck. See, I'm the streamer. I don't even know all the features that Switch has. <laughs> I ne I mean, I made polls before, but I never enabled, like, you know, voting with bits because I, I was like, yeah, we don't need, you know, that, I guess. Which might be, like, you know, bad on my end because, you know, if people want to vote with bits, then by all means, but... Test? Wait, wait, what did you test? Look at the results, though, chat. How did I suddenly get a 100 bit, 100 bits 100 badge? I don't know. Yeah, but Jesus, what did you do? I need to have this thing that I can zoom in on my screen. I need to have that. I need to install that. Yes. 20 people. 20 votes for yes. Only one for no. Well, I'm not sure if, this, if the outcome of this vote is definitive or not. Um... But, um, you know, I'll, I'll take, I'll take the outcome of the, uh, I'll take the outcome of the poll and I'll take it into consideration. Um, and, and we'll have to, you know, we'll have to, you know, give it to the board of direction, uh, directors of my brain and everything. And then we'll need to talk about it and we'll, we'll have to, we'll have to, we'll have to see. Um, so yeah, I just spent money to say you are cute. We can call this legally binding. I don't know. I'll have to call. I'll have to consult my my legal team about that. My my non-existing legal team. <laughs> I'll have to call my lawyer. Hello, hello, lawyer. Hello. Do you know? Do you know this? It's in my law book. Hello, lawyer. He's not picking up chat. He's. I, I don't get an answer, so I can't. I can't. I can't ask him right now. But I guess. Well, I guess I can't really. Um. Can't really argue against it then. I think. Heck. Well, you guys got me. You guys got me, okay? <laughs> it's funny though, Peter keeps saying it as well. Like, yesterday I wore my puppet for a little bit and Peter keeps saying that whenever I wear my puppet, he's like, you're such a cute puppy. I'm like, no, I'm not. And he's like, yeah, you are such a cute puppy. So people keep saying it. I don't know, I don't know what is up with that. That people keep saying that I'm cute. Maybe, maybe one day I will believe you guys. One day. <laughs> oh heck also seeing as we were talking about um um Miles is also hacking cute when he wears his papu that is true yes Miles is, is such a cutie Miles is absolutely such a cutie uh, seeing as we were talking about um like uh soccer kits earlier uh, Martin sent this one of like a Dutch soccer team um I love their, I mean, I have to say, I love their color scheme. I mean, I'm not sure, like, you know, their sponsor, which is like a, um, you know, like a, like an adult toy, sh toy shop, I guess. So I'm not sure what I think about their sponsor, but I love their color scheme. Like, I, I kind of feel that I need to get a, a shirt, like a kit of their team, because it's like, you know, bright pink, which is awesome. And I love it. I don't care for their team, but I do care for their shirts because, you know, bright pink. So, you know, that's the thing. Um, not sure if that shirt is TOS. I mean, I'm not sure. It, like, it's it's not you know, it's not porn or anything. It's just a store. Let's just say it is edu educational. Let's just say it is edu educational. <laughs> Wait, why do we have another poll? What is this new poll? Which version of Jordy is the cutest? Jordy himself, duh, Brooklyn, Puppy Brook. All of the above? All of the above? Well, I, I'm gonna vote myself as well. If I have to vote anything, I'm gonna say Puppy Brook is the cutest. 
Check Discord. Wait, what's in Discord? There's your law book. Jordi is good and is by law. <laughs> Look at this chat. Look at this. Hang on. This is apparently Miles' law book. Um, wait, can I can I rotate? I don't think I can rotate this. So wait, wait, wait. Let me save the image. Maybe that, that'll make it easier. Then I can rotate it. Um. <laughs> um. Look at this. There's a law. Article 69. Nice. Jordi is cute. Well, I mean, it is. I mean, I, I can't confirm the uh, legalities of this law book. Um, but apparently there is an article 69 that, you know, says that I'm cute. So I guess it is technically in, 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 in a law book. Um, even though I feel it's, it's kind of interesting though, that this is on a post-it note. Um, then again, it is in a law book. So yeah, I, I still feel that I need to consult with my legal team, whether or not I can maybe, um, you know, maybe we need to change the law on this, or maybe we need to, um, consult like you know whether or not the the legalities of this particular law um but i mean yeah seeing as it is in a law book i, I don't know if i can do anything against this you know that's kind of my, i feel my hands are kind of tied which some people might find kinky but you know um yeah yeah i don't know legal teams do not go about legal changes that's called lobbyist but maybe my legal team can also lobby. <laughs> Trust me, the pro Jordi cute lobby is strong. Heck. I mean, again, I need to have this, I need to have this widget that shows my poll on stream. Maybe I need to, I, I need to look for a download that because, you know, this. What is this? You know, this is not professional streamer mode. You guys, sh I, I'm me showing you my OBS layout and then not even being able to zoom in. There's like a thing that allows me to zoom in on the screen. So you guys can see that I probably need to install that. So that if I ever want to show anything on screen, I can just press like a keyboard combination and zooms in on my mouse and I can move around and all that. Um, things, things I need to add to my stream that. Okay, we're going to wait for the, um, we're going to wait for the uh, result of the poll. Then I'm going to take a break. And while I'm on break, I'm going to try and figure out what game we're going to play next. How is that? I, I think that's a good idea, right? It does zoom in on something cute. When I come back. Wait, you guys mean me. Ooh. You guys, I can't... <laughs> Even when Peter give, even when Peter gives me like a compliment and he's like, "Oh, you're looking sexy today," or like he said that this morning when I when I wore like my outfit like as I am right now, like he was like, "Oh yeah, you're looking sexy today." And I even when he gives me a compliment, even though we've been together for like 14 ish years, 15 years, no, 14 or 15, I don't know. We've been together for so long. Even even when he gives me a compliment, I'm still sort of blushing every time he does. I'm still like. No, stop it. <laughs> oh, I just can't deal with nice with nice cities, I guess. I don't know. Well, there we go. All of the above. All of the above. Well, thanks, chat. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You guys are you guys are cute. We can see the polling results in chat. Oh yeah, of course. You guys can also see it. Yeah, I, I probably should have. I'm a professional streamer. I know that. I, I knew that. I, I knew. I knew that. You guys could also see it. Of course. Like how? How could I? Like how could I not see that? Yeah, of course I knew that. Um. All of the below now. <laughs> yeah, when it went up. All right, chat. I'm gonna take a quick break so you guys get your plinkos ready. Tricks already made the announcement. Um, if you have preferences for games we're gonna play, I mean, we can play, we can play, um, we can play Fortnite, we can play City Skylines, which I'm leaning towards maybe playing some more City Skylines. We can play, uh, what else can we play? We can play GTA 5. Um, we can technically play Halo Infinite as well, the multiplayer. Um, we can play Midnight Ghost Hunt. So, like, if you guys have a, a very strong preference for a game, um, let me know. Let me know when I come back, like maybe not in chat when you guys play Plinko because then it will get lost in all the Plinko messages. So let me know when I come back. 
Um, like I said, I'm leaning towards cities. I'm leaning towards cities, but yeah, let me know if you have like a, a massive preference. Um, so yeah, okay, and I'm, I'm sorry, I was distracted again because that and that sort of happens. Anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll take a break, enjoy some Plinko, and I'll see you guys in a couple of minutes. I Again, I love you guys being here. Thank you so much for helping me out with my... Um, um, with my punk video thingy. Uh, thank you so much for that, and I'll see you guys in a couple of minutes. Be right back.
All right. Oh, wait, wait, there was one more. Wait, wait, wait. Is it still going? I don't know if it was still going. Oh, no, it's not. No, I heard it. I heard it's still going, but I, it didn't actually, uh, didn't actually go. I'm sorry, I was waiting for all the Plinkos to go down and then I was like, okay, all of them are, do are done, then I can press the button. And then I saw in chat you guys were actually doing um, were doing some more, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But anyway, I'm back. Hello again. Uh, I'm, I'm back here. Sorry if that took a little bit longer. Um, but then again, I'm also not necessarily very, um, very sorry. I, it's funny, I was talking to another streamer on Twitter the other day. Um... And I was talking about, uh, like, they, they made a tweet about, like, how um, taking breaks as a streamer should be normalized because they they felt that, you know, like, they always, that a lot of people apparently have, like, a lot of streamers apparently, I, di I didn't necessarily know this, but even though I sometimes feel the same way, but, like, a lot of streamers apparently feel that taking breaks might be hurtful because, you know, they fear, they fear that people will leave when they... Uh, like take a take a long break, like you know, stretch your legs and, and go use the bathroom and, and, and get some new to drink and everything. And they were like, Yeah, I feel that it needs to be normalized because sitting in your chair for like eight hours without getting up, like you know, five, six, six hours, however long you stream without getting up, of course, it's not ne necessarily very healthy. So he was like, I feel it should be normalized to take breaks. And I was like, you know what? I kind of agree with that because I sometimes feel the same way. I'm like, oh man, I can't my break takes too long. And I can't have that because you know, what if people, what if people leave or, you know, what if something, what if they decide to not come back or anything like that? Um, but yeah, I, I kind of agreed with his point that, you know, like taking breaks should always be normalized, should always be like, should always be okay. Every two hours you need to take a break. Yeah, I feel that I kind of do that. Like I always try to take a break at like 10, um, which is two hours in my stream. And then I always try and like, you know, I end that usually at like, you know, 12 ish, 12, 30 ish. So I might take another break at like 12 ish, depending on like how I feel and if I'm thirsty or not. Uh, but I feel that like, you know, indeed every two hours, I try to always take a break. Breaks for a streamer, my finger is hovering above the unfollow button. <laughs> I mean, that's why I, in, you know, that's why I, um, uh, I, 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 in, you know, I implemented those like the Plinko game because then at least you guys would have something to do while I was on my break. You know, it wouldn't just be a random, um, you know, just you guys waiting for me to come back. Uh, at least you guys have something, you know, fun to do. That's why I was like, I want to have a game or like I want to have something uh, for you guys to do um, while I'm on my break. So, you know, that's that's why that is there. Um... All right, so have you guys have you guys come up with any games you really want me to want to see, or are we gonna play cities? Like again, I'm totally down for anything else as well, but I'm, I'm I just I'm very indecisive. The Blinko game is a good idea in my view. Yeah, no, thank you. I'm, I'm I I don't I totally um I totally agree as well. Like I'm I, it's it's very simple. It's nothing like too special. Um. But it totally does work, I guess. I vote for Plinko. But then, I mean, I don't have the Plinko game installed on like other scenes. So then I would have to be on, I would have, it would be, a, it would have to be a very long BRB. <laughs> it would have to be a BRB indefinitely, I guess. Until the end of the stream. I'm quickly going through my list. There's definitely some other games I would love to play as well. Uh, which is kind of, uh, there's definitely some other games that I would love to just, you know, casually, randomly play as well. I think Cities is fun. Yeah, I'm quickly going through my list if I have like anything else. Um, yeah, it's your, it's your party. <laughs> and I can cry if I want to. I don't cry easily though. I think I've cried on stream once. I did cry on stream once, I think. Yeah, yeah, no, I think definitely just once and never after that. And that was during a game. You know, that was during a game. Why? Uh, I was playing The Last of Us. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I was playing The Last of Us and uh, something happened in the game that made me burst out into tears. There's a clip of it as well. There's a clip of it. I'm not sure if I can quickly find it, but there is a clip of me crying in The Last of Us. 
if you guys want if you guys want to see do, do you guys want to see that because I, I i can really tr i can probably find it pretty easily it wasn't pretty let me tell you that it wasn't pretty let's see if i can find it oh wait clips of my channel yeah oh wait no i actually found it and that was actually that was very easy <laughs> That was very easy. Uh, the, if you guys want to see it, uh, you need to share it. There will be spoilers. If you haven't played The Last of Us, there will be spoilers. Like, you, you this is literally the beginning of the game. Um, so, like, the first, like, 15, 20 minutes in the game. Maybe 30 minutes in the game. Um, so, it's very much at the beginning. So, the, you know, there might be spoilers. But, yeah. This is me, you know, bursting out into tears. Uh, and, and, yeah. It's not pretty. You always cry as a part of the game. I do, yes. I do. Uh, and it's it's definitely not pretty. Um, I7, hello, how are you doing? Finally, I got to see the man with the best hype rate intro. Hey, yeah, Jordi in chat. Oh, that is so cool. You came here from the hype rate um, video. That is so cool. Welcome in. How are you doing? Yeah, I, I that intro is um, the, the developer of hype rate. They were like, I, I sent that video to them and they were like, wow, that is literally the best intro I've ever seen hey. of someone sharing hype rate. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. How are you doing? Welcome on in. We were about to watch a clip of me crying on stream. Um, and uh, yeah, well, you, you came in at like an interesting time. You are, you are about to witness the only time that I've ever cried on stream. Uh, and, and we were talking about that. And, and well, here it is. Here it is. And I'm a little bit embarrassed about it, but here we go. It's such an ugly cry as well. I hate it. It's such an ugly cry and it's so bad. But it's gonna be okay, baby. Stay with me. Oh, I can I can look at it now. I can watch this scene now. We're like playing through this scene. Like, oh man. And the music and everything, it's just so sad. It's just so sad. And then the, the, the title scene. Oh man, it's such a powerful scene. It's such a powerful... Um moment in the game heck but i hate that i had like such an ugly cry like why couldn't why couldn't i have like a like a movie style um like a, like a movie style single tear or something like that like i could just sit here and be like sad and like the single tear you know like a film worthy cry no no no. i i, I was gonna i came in and i was gonna have like you know the ugly cry <laughs> Oh heck! It's funny though. Two years ago, sub goal fifteen, and then the goals go times four. Wait, was that two years ago? I don't know. I didn't see how long ago it was, but it could have been two years. I, I don't know. It totally could have been two years. Um. Not at all. Found you on Discord. Oh, nice. You found me on the uh, the hybrid Discord thingy. Well, welcome in i seven. How are you doing? How are you doing today? Um. Hopefully, you're doing good. It showed two years, yes. It, I mean, it, it could have been. Like, that was the old stream layout, even. You are forgetting the true lost here, the blue streak in your hair. Wait, you didn't know that, Taka? I used to have... I, I mean, I used to have. I, I had once. I did, like, a half and half. So it wasn't a blue streak. It was a full blue half. So I had, that like, one half of my hair was pink, and the other half was blue. I did that once, I think. I, I did like it. I thought... I, I did actually like it. I might try it again some sometime, you know, again. Um, but yeah, I, 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 apparently I had that two years ago. Like I did, like it was half and half. So I did like through the middle and then one half was pink. The other half was blue. Um, I've never done that ever since though anymore. It was a good style. I did like it. I did like it. Um, yeah, I got a bit sick the last two days. Symptoms of a cold. Hopefully not the Corona thingy. How about you? Uh, actually, uh, I'm dealing with sort of the same thing. I had like a, a, a you know, a, a sore throat for like a couple of days. Um, and now, you know, sometimes you will hear me coughing on stream. I'll try to mute myself in time whenever it happens. But um, yeah, I did it. I did a test. It's not COVID. 
Um, so it's just, um, it's, it's, yeah, I don't know. It's just like a cold, I guess. Um, but yeah, I feel you there. Hopefully you'll feel better soon. Hopefully it's not like anything severe and hopefully you'll feel better soon. What is Hybrid? Did I forget? Yeah, so Hybrid is the, uh, is the tool that we use. Um, Hype rate is the tool that we use for um, uh, putting my heart rate on stream. So whenever I play like a scary game, um, I, I I put on like a uh, I put on uh, my heart rate on stream, and then and that tool is called Hype Rate. I made a video about it as well, which I think you can find through the link in chat. I hope you can. Yeah, there we go. The first video um, in that on that link uh, talks more about it. And I still think, like, you know, it, it, heart rate is, is, um, is, has been out for some time now, but I still think it's the easiest way to show your heart rate on stream. It's still super, it still works so well. It's super easy to use. Uh, and it's awesome. I love it. I don't play that many scary games, though. So, like, that's the only reason that I don't use it more often. Maybe I should have gotten some sleep this night instead of working on the next heart rate feature. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can feel that sometimes you just get in the flow and you kind of like you want to stay in that flow. So you keep it going, even though you feel like I should probably do something else. I should do something else. But yeah, you just get in the flow and you want to keep that flow going. I, I totally get you. Speaking of The Last of Us, by the way, I was actually thinking like literally like last week. I was thinking last week, like how I would... um. Uh, how I would love to play the the Last of Us um, again, um, like both one and two. Like it's been a, it's been a while. I think it's been like two years. Like that video, that clip of me crying on stream. Uh, I think that was the last time that I played the Last of Us. So I think it's been like two years almost that I've played it. Uh, so I kind of feel at some point I would love to play through both one and two back to back on stream again, even though I've played them before. Uh, it's been so long, so I would love to play it again. So I was thinking about that the other week, how um, I should probably do that again at some times because I still love these games. They're, like The Last of Us is still my favorite game ever. Um, and I would love to play it again. Um, oh, by the way, thanks for all the support below your video. It was awesome to see that you enjoyed as much as we do. Oh, nice. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, well, for wait, are you I, just just to kind of clarify that? Are you the developer of Hype Rate? Uh, cause I don't necessarily recognize your username, but maybe I, maybe, like, I, eh. I feel always so awkward asking this, but I just, just to be like super clear. Yep. Ah, oh, nice. I didn't recognize your username, so that's why I, um, wasn't completely sure, but nice. Nice. Yeah. I mean, I, I, a lot of people still, you know, watch that video, which um, makes me very happy as well. And, um, yeah, I mean, I, I always like it whenever people, um, you know, come in and ask questions and I'm able to help them and, and like, you know, tell them like how it works. Like the other, like last week, I think even, I got some comments on that video with people that didn't understand how they, um, how the app worked and how, how they got it on their, on their, on their Apple Watch. Uh, so I was able to help them with that as well. Like I was in, in the comment section on YouTube. So I'm always very happy when I, I get to do that. One person had an, an, had an Apple Watch Series 2. And they were like, I can't get it on my watch. And I was like, well, you need to do it this and this. And then they were like, oh, I just realized I have a Series 2 and it doesn't work on Series 2 anymore. So, you know, that was kind of a bummer. But yeah, the last of us. And the backend death behind Hyperate. Oh, nice. Well, welcome on in. It's good to have you. You're the second developer that we have coming in the stream today. Uh, <laughs> I was playing another game earlier and the developer of that game actually came by for a little bit as well. So you are technically the second developer that makes its way into the stream. <laughs> I mean, the developer of a tool that we use. I mean, you know, there's more people in chat that are developers or that are coders or whatever you want to call it. But like you are the, the second developer of something that we use on stream to come in today. Um, so welcome in. I'm the developer of Bleep Labs. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, Martin, one of my moderators, he's also a developer. Um, so, yeah, but he's he's always in chat. So like, you know. That, that he's like part of the furniture, if you will. <laughs> you know, I love you, Martin. You know, I love you. For ages, I wanted to join here, but man, time is a problem. Ah, oh, what time zone are you in, if you don't mind me asking? Because time zones are a bitch, for sure. Time zones can be a massive um, B word. Yeah. Like, I have, I have a lot of friends in the US. I'm in the Netherlands, like in Europe. Um, so I have a lot of friends in the US, and... Um... Like time zones can be so tricky. Same as Rudria, Germany. Oh, nice. So we are in the same time zone, but still time 
Like not just, it's, so it's not a time zone problem, it's just a time problem, which I can also relate to. If I, if like, you know, if I could, if I wanted to support all the streamer friends that I have, um, finding the time to do that, yeah, then a day would have to be, have more than 24 hours and I wouldn't have to sleep. That's also like, you know, that would also help if I didn't have to sleep. Sadly, the human body sort of does require, you know, like at least a little bit of sleep. But if I wouldn't have to sleep, then I would have so much more time. <laughs> and I7, thank you so much for the follow. I can appreciate it. Welcome in and welcome to the delicious people. Hopefully you're doing good. Just sleep faster. Oh yeah, that's the issue. I don't, I'm not like a, uh, I'm not like a fast sleeper. I don't sleep very quickly. That's always like the issue. I wish I was, but like, I don't sleep very quick. Unless I'm super duper tired. Otherwise it always takes a little bit before I fall asleep and I hate it. All right, um, let me change the game for a bit. Um... Cities Skalans. We're gonna be playing that. Also, I was looking at those uh, those soccer shirts that you shared earlier, Martin, like the pink ones. Uh, and I was just I, like, I was during my break, I was just looking up it to see if you could even still buy them. But you can't buy them anymore. They they sold out. They had them available for um, for like Valentine's Day, I think, or like yeah, I think for Valentine's Day they had like a batch available, and then they were so popular, so they sold out. Then they got a second batch available, but you had to order them before like something something March, like a day in March. Uh, in order to get them. So they don't, they, you can't buy them anymore. I was kind of low-key sad because otherwise I was, you know, low-key sort of interested about getting one, but now, you know, I can't. I just went on their site and they're like, yeah, you can't buy them anymore. Which is a bummer because there's not really that many, um, um, there's really not many sports teams with, like, soccer teams with, um, with pink, like, bright pink shirts. Like, I, I believe there's one team that has, like, a pastel pink. But I'm not really big into pastel, I, I guess. So, you know, that wouldn't necessarily work. Um, Loading. It's all that, but you can always make FC Mr. Delicious shirts. Yeah, that would be fun, having like my own sort of soccer style shirt someday. That would be fun. Speaking of hybrid, we might have to play a scary game or like a game that I can, you know, properly use it again, use it with again at some point. Um, even though I'm not big on scary games, I know how much you guys like me playing scary games. I know you guys like it. I don't necessarily like it as much. I like chill, non-scary games. But yeah. I mean, we could also totally play, use it with um, like a game like The Last of Us. Would you guys, would you guys hate it if I would play The Last of Us again? Um, would you guys hate that? Or would you guys be like, no, it's fine. Please play it. Because I would love to play The Last of Us again at some point. Um, but like, yeah, I would love to play it again. And I know that not everyone, um, I know not everyone has seen it, of course, because, you know, it's, it's been two years since I've played it. Um, so that's also a thing. Did you know that the pulse on its own is also a nice chat catalyst? I think that's a fair point. Yeah, that's actually not a bad, bad idea. I mean, I might, I had some issues with it the other day. I wasn't able to install it on my Apple Watch anymore, but I, I, let's see if that works now. I wanted to install it on my Apple Watch, but for some reason I couldn't do it anymore. Um, and I, I, I mean, I, I had to ask it about that in the Discord because I was looking at it like a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and I wanted to install it, but I just can't. Like I press the, um, like you have, it's, it's over there in the Apple Watch app. And I press the install button and then it does like, you know, the spinny thing. But it just stays at that. It doesn't do anything else. It stays at the spinning thing and then it doesn't actually install. And I don't know why. Um... But I try a different app now, and it looks like none none of the apps want to install on my Apple Watch, it seems. That's so weird. 
Because I, I just tried to install a different app. And that also doesn't seem to install. Which is weird, because I am connected to... Um... Oh, no, actually, that did install. So, okay, so that did actually install. Never mind. Um... Maybe you need to re-download it in test flight. Can I do that? Test flight. Do you guys know, do you guys have a timeline when it's going to be um, re removed out of test flight? Do you guys have like a timeline for that? When it's just going to be like a regular app you can download? Because it is version 1.0, I see. Uh, all right. Jordi, I'm sorry, disclaimer. Oh, wait, I think it worked. I think I, yeah, I think I got it to work now. Hang on, let me, uh, let me see where it is. Yeah, it totally works. All right, let's have a look if, if we can actually properly get it to work. Let's see, heart rate, zero. There we go look how easy that is chat don't you just love that don't you love how easy it is to just it's it's on my apple watch it's right there don't you just love how easy it is to um like i can just that that is what i love about this app i can just go and be like you know what let's just enable it why not let's just enable it for the fun of it and we just do that i just i just enable the the overlay and it's it just works i love that I love that. I love I love things that work easy and and quick and nice. And this definitely works quick and easy and nice. I know the feeling found a few cool figures yesterday and not only did they sell out years back, now scalpers are inflating the price up like mad. Oh yeah, that sucks. That absolutely sucks. You just had an expired test flight built then, I think. Yeah, maybe, because I indeed opened the app in test flight and then it, it gave me like the thing like, you can give feedback, press the two buttons and, and you can do feedback. Um, so yeah, Jordi has fluctuating HP. Now this is my heart rate. This is my heart rate like live. If I start doing like, you know, moving quickly, then I'm sure it goes up, I think. I, I mean, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Look at me being, trying to get my heart rate to go up. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Alrighty then. Let's see. We have we we still have a trash problem, which I feel I tried to. Um, wait, didn't I install? Didn't I add a um, waste complex waste process? Yeah, there it is. A waste transfer facility. I think. So let's see if that helps with the... Because I think we should have... Oh wait, garbage processing status is not good enough. Dicks! Oh jeez. Stop it! Is that gonna put my heart rate... Is that gonna make my heart rate go up? No, not actually. It actually is not. We have so many... Um, I don't get it. We have so many waste... Or we have so many recycling centers. But it clearly is not enough. Waste transfer facility, waste processing complex. Maybe we should build one of these. They are big though. They are like ginormous, so I'm not sure if I can easily build one of these. Thanks for checking in. I'm still, still a piece, piece of, of garbage. garbage. Maybe I should try and build one of these. So it actually also, you know, provides like um, power, but also helps with garbage. Spenny, hello, hello. Hello, Jordy Warney. How I got here and your heart rate was 69 BPM. Nice. How are you doing? Welcome on in. Uh, doing tired, tired but good. Nice. Happy to hear that. Yes, and then you can place around the city, the smaller ones. All right, let's re remove this street here. Or let's actually do it up here, maybe. Is it going to fit in here? Oh, it's not going to fit in here, though. Oh, in here, though. We can make it fit here. So let's remove this. Wait, 
Space already occupied? I know, why can't- wait. Why can't I build it there? There we go. And then we just have a street that is gonna go from here to here. And then we're just gonna fill that in with, um... With that as well. Alright, so now let's have a look at how our... Okay, now our garbage processing status is good again. I can't place it on a fire. Oh, there was a fire. Okay, but now our garbage processing status is good again, so hopefully we will see all these garbage issues fade away soon. A boyfriend where? I mean, I saw mine just sitting inside just now, so... Still traffic, massive traffic issues, unfortunately, in the city. By the way, chat, I'm so hot today. Or, well, not hot, I guess warm is a better word, but I'm so warm today. Oh, we have a fire here. Oh boy, that's not good. I really wish how the, um, like a, how it could have like a, um, like a fan or something blowing at me. We know you're hot, Jordy. No, not like that. I mean, warm, temperature wise. <laughs> temperature wise. There's some collector garbage thing, I believe, and then they transfer it to the big one. Yeah, I have that one. I have that. That's this one, the uh, waste transfer facility. So I have that. I did install that as well because I thought maybe that would help with the garbage, but I didn't think it would. Um, that was like other issues here as well. I do like how this shirt. I, I I do like how this shirt makes me look, though. I really like sort of wearing soccer shirts. So I was like thinking maybe I should treat myself to another one. Um, like maybe I should just find a team that has good-looking jerseys and just treat myself to one. Um, because I do like how they make me look, and they are so comfortable in, especially in summertime when it gets warm. They're so comfortable. So I don't know. Maybe I should do like a treat myself. Treat myself. All right, we have a lot of demand. Um, your average heart rate is 69, I think. Yeah, I used to have quite a good resting heart rate, but it, it has gone up recently or like, you know, lately. I mean, I really need to work out more again because my resting heart rate has gone up a little bit in the last uh, couple of uh, months, I think. I used to have quite a good resting heart rate. Like it used to be like below... Um, My resting heart rate used to be like below, um, like between like 50 and 60. But it's not really like that anymore. Actually, let's, um, let's not zone there. All right, I'm not entirely sure where I would like the city to go. Um... We have a lot of space here. We have two random power lines here, which I'm not sure why they are there, but they are. Um, we have demand for residential and commercial. We have a power line here, which makes sense. Oh wait, and then we have a, a wait, what is our water situation like? Oh wait, oh yeah, I know. Okay, okay, so we need to continue this. Uh, and we need to link that up over there. Because I know what the issue is with that one. There we go. That should help. Did you check the other side already? If you connected that to the international water pipes? Yeah, yeah. So I didn't do that. So that was the uh, that was the issue. Um. Also, let's see if we can make something here. Um. Let's see. Like that. 
Then we can maybe make this into a small district. Alright, and then I want to give that a... What do we have here? Oh, do we have tourist or leisure? Let's have a look. Is this tourist, tourist district or leisure? Um, educational blims, education boost. Oh wait, this is a tourism district. Uh, okay, let's make this also into a touristy district. Um... Leisure, no, tourism specialization. Let's give that here. Then we're going to fill this in with... Um, yeah, let's leave it like that. I don't think we want to... I mean, we can do like maybe a row here. Like that. All right, they should have power, so they should be good. Uh, water, I'm not... Water should also be good. Okay, perfect. Then once tourists come here, they can actually do something. Um, let's see. We could try and develop some stuff over here as well. Like, one thing that I want to do with this, I want to make it like a circular neighborhood. I really like that idea. Um, so let's try that. Let's see. Let's, uh, do like circles. Let's make sure that we have enough space in between. Oh wait, actually let's go here. One, two, three, let's I think I think this is ten. Then let's actually make a road, uh, a guide road here. Like that. So these are going to be guide roads, and then hopefully I can use them to connect my regular roads too. So what do I, what I want to do with the park in the center? Exactly, yeah, with the park in the center. So what I want to do, I want to connect these up to here. I don't want to build on the beach, but I think I don't have another choice here. Why, where's my, um... Let's see. I'm not sure if this, I don't think I can do, make it happen now. I was gonna, I was looking, where's my guide? Yeah. I feel there should be a guide when I just do it like this. I don't see it though. Oh, wait, wait, here it is, here it is. I, I got it, I got it. Wait, can I... Let's see, I think this could also work if I just do it like this. Um... Yeah, there we go, that also works. And on this side, we want to do the same thing. So I think I need to do a similar thing again. So I'm going to make a straight one that goes up here. So we can make the circular one. And then we only have to go down here. There we go, like that. I'm not sure if it's completely perfectly circular, but I think it kind of works. I think it's, it should be okay. Um, let's pause the game for a second as well while we work on this. Uh, and then I want to take... Let's see. So that's going to be the, the, in, the inner portion of things. Um, and we're going to use... We're going to be making, sort of following the beach line here. Wait, 
Wait, I don't like this. A little bit too far. Let's go back a little bit. Alright, let's connect this up. Like that. Alright, so then we have a bit of like, you know, a grid that we can, or like at least something that we can follow outside here. Uh, and then we can, of course, connect that up as well. Um, so let's connect it like over here and then maybe like that. Uh, then also over here, I need to see if we can connect this up. Uh, maybe if we can make it go. Let's see. Like that. Let's see if we can maybe connect those up. Oh, that might be tricky though. Or like that. I think that kind of works. Yeah, that could work. That, I, yeah, I think that, that works. All right, then I want to fill the, try to fill this in with a road network. Uh, so let's keep this going and then maybe arch this down here. And then let's see if we can make like a meandering like this. And then do the same thing over here. Oh wait, maybe a little bit lower. Like that. All right, I like that. I like that. And then let's just have like a couple of cross traits. So like one here. Um, another one here and then maybe another one like over there. Perfect. All right. Let's add some water pipes. So we are prepared for the future. All right, so these are going to go circular. Um, Crap, I don't like those. Let's get rid of those. I know it might be very anal, but I want the water pipes to be underneath the roads. Because I, I, I always made a mess of my water pipes and I always hated that. And I feel that now I put them under the roads, I feel that it's slightly better. Or slight, not actually slightly, I feel that it's way better. Um, so we're gonna circle this completely. So we'll have a nice looping water system. And then we are going to go Tony Magone. Like that. I think we're going to make another one go over here. Ooh, crap. I think I... All right, let's do it like this. I think we need to make another... Connection here. Uh, and let's make another one. Let's keep this going. Meaty bits! Their slogan is kind of interesting. If it ever was alive, they can get it to you dead. I mean, they're not wrong. Alright. So we have that. Um... Anxiety medication is more heavily regulated than ever. What's a young entrepreneur to do when their day isn't going? What's a young entrepreneur to do? All right, let's make the inside into a park. Uh, let's see, park area. Graded by level of cheer and pegged directly to the stock exchange. Let the sounds of your future carry you through the highs and lows of your. Oh crap! Day. 
See if we can make that go round and round nicely. You spin my head right round, right round when you paint a park area. All right, slightly too big here. All right. I don't want it to go back that much. There we go. Okay, and now we're just going to fill this in. Okay, so we need to have a good name for this park. I think I'm going to go with something like Circle a Lake Garden. I like maybe like... Sun... Sun... Sunset Park. I like Sunset Park because the inside, like this sort of reminds me of a, um, excuse me, this reminds me of a, uh, a solar, like a, uh, like a, what is it called? Like a solar clock. Let's go with Sunset Park. Uh, I also want to add uh, fencing. I see park fence. So let's see if we can add that as well. Around the outside here. Might be tricky. Because I don't I always struggle with um with with like you know circular stuff like this. Snicker, Jordy said anal. Wait, I, I said I did. I mean, I might have said that when I said like I was I'm very anal about things. Let's see, let's turn off grid. Road guidelines as well. Yeah, there we go. At least this way I won't inadvertently zone anything here as well, so that also helps. At least I think that also helps. Wait, those last section might be wrong. Still named Lake Garden, it is. Oh yeah, I probably didn't press enter. I always forget that. I need to actually press enter. And let's take it to here. I mean, it's not going to be perfect, but it's fine. It's 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 not going to be perfect, but that's okay. We shouldn't let perfect be the enemy of good. Right? Like, we shouldn't let perfect be the enemy of good, I think. I know that I'm I'm trying to be very diligent about how I place these, but I'm just sort of trying to follow the uh, natural curve here. So it's nothing too super duper fancy. All right, I think we're almost completely round. Can we take it from here? There we go. Perfect.
Yeah, like some sections aren't gonna be perfect, but that's okay. I'm able to deal with with that. I think. Yeah, no, no, no. We're, we're fine. It's it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. All right, we're almost at the beginning again. I've got a wobbly fence in my backyard. My friend says some of the fence posts are dodgy. He sent me to Arc Jokes because he said they're good at reposting. He sent me to Arc Jokes because they're good at reposting? Wow. <laughs> that is a good one. All right, there we go. Completely fenced in. Um, all right, let's change that name. What, what did I call it again? Sunset Gardens. I think I called it that. If not, it's gonna it's called that now. Um, let's see. Let's add a um, let's see a park. Let's see. Is this a park? City park. Yeah. Let's add a uh, main gate. Right there. Oh, is that not going to work? Oh, that's not going to work. Oh, crap. I, I, oh, man. I wish that I was able to put it like in the dead, like dead in the center, but I think that's not going to work. Yeah, with the street. That's going to be tricky. I like make it go. Curve, though. Distance too short. Wait, can I make it work if I do it like this? Ah, oh, crap. I think I might have to move it a little bit. Even though I like how it's like dead center. Or we can just do it like this. It's not, it's not ideal. But it totally works. Yeah, I mean, it's not pretty, but it kind of works, so that's also good. No gates. I mean, we'll, we'll have one gate here, and then maybe like a side gate. Like on the other side, maybe. Um, like... Maybe here. Let's see, is this a side gate? Yeah, and let's see, can we connect this up now? Distance too short. All right, wait. Um, there we go. Perfect. Now that phrase is don't let perfection be the thief of joy. Yeah, that also works. Uh, made a mistake. The phrase I was thinking of is comparison is the thief of joy. Ah. Well, I guess both work. I, I kind of like both. All right, let's add some some roads uh, in between. Let's actually first save the game because I might mess up with my road uh, roadways, which I don't want, of course. Uh, one second. Excuse me, quickly had to blow my nose off stream. All right, uh, off camera. Um, so what I want is I want to have some meandering paths through here. So I don't want to like destroy any of the, you know, already existing natural things, except for that rock, I guess, that didn't make it. I just want people to sort of, you know, walk through here. And then connect up here again. Uh, and we need to connect this up as well. Like that. Perfect. Now we're going to add like a couple of amenities, like nothing major. Let's just add some small gazebos here and there. We have like one. Oh, wait, crap. I think gaze <laughs> I think gazebos actually do need power. Which might be tricky. So let's see if they do.
There we go, like that. All right, cool. And then we're going to make the uh, the park. We're going to make it free. So let's just make it go all the way down. I will use my last statement of this stream to say, Mr. Jordalicious and his chat are cute. Your last statement of this stream? Oh, no. What does that mean? Thanks for the bits, though, Miles. I appreciate it. What does it mean that it's your last statement? Wait, let's see. Let's see if we can make this um, go straight. And then let's see if we can connect it up here and up there. There we go. Oh, but I don't like that thing. Oh, it's still there. I hate that. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it. I know I can m mess with this for a long time. Let's just leave it. Um. And by that, I will be heading to bed. Ah, okay. No worries, Miles. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you had a good time. Thank you for being here. Um, it was good having you, as always. Sleep well. Hopefully, you can play some more Punk again soon. Yeah, I think we might play it again, like, like maybe next month, when there will be more games added. Like, I know they are adding more games, like I said before, every month. So maybe next month, when there's a little bit more games, maybe that would be a good moment to um, play it again. See you Friday. Yeah, it's going to be a Papu Friday as well. I think you you probably already knew that, but just just in case, we're going to have another Papu Friday. It's probably going to be a hot one, considering the uh, the weather that we have. But yeah, still. Yeah, this is insane. Like the height difference is insane, but that's OK. Um, all right, so now we can start zoning here a little bit. Uh, so let's use this main corridor here for commercial. So we're going to have commercial here. Also on the other side. Like that. Then I think we're going to fill in the rest with, or at least part of the rest with um, residential. Okay, wait, maybe not these. This is going to be residential here. Oh, wait, wait, pause the simulation, pause the simulation, because before we do anything, um, I kind of want to make sure that we have district here. Oh, wait, crap, not a park district. No, 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 not a, just a regular district. make this a regular district. Let's fill that in. Um, let's keep, let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's keep it going here as well. Then we're going to make it follow this outer perimeter here. And we're going to make that, let's see, we're going to make that a organic and local produce district. And I want to make it a uh, self-sufficient housings one as well, because I like how this is like Sunset Gardens. So we're going to call this Sunset Valley, because it's also like a little bit of the valley. And let's make this a um, European suburbia. Let's make the houses here European suburbia, and they're also going to be self-sufficient. So that's that's going to be hopefully interesting. I have to cancel your stream on Friday because I have a work thing, so we can take a day off. <laughs> well, you will be missed, uh, Martin. I hope you know that you will be missed. But hopefully, your work thing is also going to be fun. I'm sure it's going to be fun. Like I, I don't hope it, but I'm uh, well. I also hope it, but I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun as well. Uh, and actually, let's um, let's dezone this for now, and let's rezone this with some higher density commercial, and then higher density residential as well. Like that. I don't think I'm going to zone anything on this this valley here, but or this this uh, cliff here. But we might. I don't know. Maybe in the future we might. All right. Let's have a little bit more commercial here. 
like a couple of stores, like corner shops or something like that. Uh, and then some more residential again. All right. So we're going to let that fill in. Some karting and laser gaming and then food. Oh, that does sound like a lot of fun. I've never gone. I've never done either of those two. I would love to, but I've never actually done either of those two. I would love to go karting someday and I would love to do um, laser gaming as well, but I've never done that. Have you ever done it before or is it your first time? I'm sure you're going to have a lot of fun, though. I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun. My tail wax bringing all the peps to the yard. They're, They're like, like, it's, it's better, better than yours. Then right. right, it's, it's better, better than yours. yours. I, can I can teach you, you but, but you'll have, have to bark. bark. Let's do a pose. Hey, oh wow, that is, that is blurry. Heck, look at that. That is so blurry. Um, Wait, let's pause the game for a second. Pause the game. Stop the game. Stop the game. Um, Brainstorm. Hello, hello. How are you doing? Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Thanks so much for that raid. How was your stream? What were you playing? Thank you so much for sending your community over. Time Lord 1997, hello, woof. Woof to you back as well. I mean, you're, you're talking to a puppy, so like saying woof, uh, you know, that totally triggers me. <laughs> hey, hello, see you. Welcome on in, a time light. Hey, how are you doing? Welcome on in. How was your stream? What were you playing? What were you guys playing? Let's see, you were playing some golf with your friends. Nice. A game that I've never played, but I, I feel that it definitely is uh, uh, a lot of fun. Give it one sec, the command doesn't work when the Polaroid happens. Wait, what command? I think it I, I think it works. Uh wait, what what do you mean? The uh the shadow definitely worked. I saw it. I saw it. There's the Polaroid. Uno and ended with golf. Nice. Stream was good. Played some Uno and then some golf. Got time lights promised. And super his dog uh mask on, on my stream. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, he mentioned that. He he said he was gonna be appearing on your stream uh, as a puppy. So hopefully that was fun. Hopefully you guys had fun as well. Well, welcome in Raiders. For those of you who don't know me yet, my name is Mr. Drillicious. I am a variety streamer, mostly focusing on single player story driven adventures. Uh, but today we started with a, a community night sort of thing. We had a party game called Punk. Uh, there's going to be a video up on my YouTube channel, uh, most likely next week, uh, if you want to see that. Also, uh, just like Timelight himself, I'm also part of the Peppy communities as well as the furry communities. You can see my first Sona Brooklyn over there. If you have any questions about that or you want to know, you know, anything about the Peppy community or Peppy play in general, uh, feel free to ask me. I'm always more than happy to explain, talk about it, uh, share experiences, all those kind of things. So if you have any questions, feel free to talk, feel free to ask them. Um, because um, yeah, I'm always happy to talk about it. But thank you so much for sending your community over. I can appreciate it. Like I said, we were playing some city skylines. I was building a new neighborhood in the city just now. So, um, yeah, you know what? It's hot underneath the dog head today. Honestly, I was wearing my hood on Monday. Uh, and it was also like, you know, I don't know what the temperatures were on Monday, but it was, it was pretty warm. And I, I yeah, it's definitely, uh, it definitely gets uh, nice and toasty underneath it. Yeah, when I took it off, I was quite sweaty. <laughs> and I'm going to be doing the same thing on Friday. We're going to have another Puppet Friday again on uh, coming Friday. So I'm going to be wearing the hood. Um... All evening as well. I'm thinking if I want to wear my my new like my muzzle, or maybe I'm gonna start with my full hood, and then maybe if it's too warm, um, I might switch to um, I might switch to my 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 summer muzzle, if you will. Oh my god! Um, okay, so yeah. Thank you for the sub. Oh, woo! I farted really loud. You are awesome. Thank you for the sub. Wow. An anonymous user gifted a tier one sub to I farted really loud. Wow, well, I mean, that's okay if, you know, sometimes it happens. You don't have to, like, you know, it's, it's don't have to be ashamed about it. But uh, Anonymous, thank you so much for gifting a sub to I farted really loud. Um, you know, again, don't feel self, uh, self-conscious self about it because it's all good. Like, sometimes, you know, if, if, if you have gas, you need to let it out, I guess. You know, it, it just happens. It's natural. So don't feel self-conscious. But uh, again, Anonymous, thank you so much for gifting that sub. Uh, I can appreciate it. <laughs> Uh, also, Time Lord, I think I uh, I didn't mention you yet, but thank you so much for the follow. I can appreciate it. Welcome to the delicious people. How are you doing today? Yeah, you see, sometimes it happens here on stream even that someone farts really loudly. It's totally fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, no problem, man. I enjoyed myself here last time, so I might as well. Uh, and with Time Lord in his dog persona, I guess I had to write audience anyway. You totally did. Yeah. How was that, Time Lord? How, how was it? Was it your first time that you appeared like on a stream? Uh, and if so, how was it your first time... Uh, was it also your first time, like, as a puppy on stream? And if so, how did you like it? 
How did you, uh, how did you enjoy it? I hope you enjoyed yourself. Because that is, of course, very important, you know? You should always enjoy yourself. That's why I do it as well. That's why I love being a puppy on stream as well, because it's so much fun. Hey, Pep Sparky! Hello, how are you doing? Welcome on in! Hello, hello! More puppies! Alright, so we need to get a uh, power connection going. So these need to fill in, ideally, so we can hopefully have the power jump. These need to fill in, and then over here we need to have something built. So the power can hopefully jump over there, because we need it. Not the first time on a stream, uh, but it was as a pup. It was fun, might do it again. Nice! Well, happy that you had fun. I always love it. I always love being a pup on stream. I mean, I love being a pup, period. Like, you know, in general, I love being a pup. Um, but it's definitely a lot of fun as well on stream. Uh, like, you know, whenever I get to pup out and, and, and yeah, it's always so much fun. But hopefully the games of Uno and uh, Golf with your friends were fun. I've never played Golf with your friends, though. Let's see, let's call this, um, do we have Fairy Outlook Pier? Okay, so that's called Fairy Outlook Pier, Cruise District. Let's call this the... Phones for over 20 years. How did we get there? Mm. By putting ringtones in every... Fairy Le... Think your phone is ringing. Le... No, 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 that's a lame name. I, I need to come up with a better name for it than Spruce District. Sure you always hear your phone How are you doing, Pup Sparky? Welcome on in. It's Hopefully you're doing well. We hear you. So don't be silent. Okay, there we go. The power jumped. Uh, so now all of this, almost all of this is connected. Um, so that's good. Horse Economy 3 smashed PC sales records. Horse Economy 3. Now the hit Equine Economic Simulator has a new expansion that delves into the cutthroat world of... Equine Economic Simulator. Buy hay. Stable markets. Sell low. Work your way from lowly horse to be the head of a major real estate empire. Can you spin your holdings into a billion dollar conglomerate? Can you work your way under the fence and out of your pen and onto your life as a property mogul? Spreadsheets have never been hotter. Pre-order now and get a free horse hat. Horse Economy 3. Stable markets. Buy low, sell hay. <laughs> I love these commercials so good. Horse Economy 3. Stable markets. Buy low, sell hay. <laughs> Oh, it's so funny. It's so funny. I love it. I think you might need to build a garbage transfer thing on that side somewhere. Yeah, maybe we should. Maybe we have to do that somewhere here. Uh, maybe we could make it fit in. Waste transfer facility. Ooh, can we make it fit in here? I mean, we might. Maybe if we move this um, power turbine thingy, let's move it over here. And then maybe we can build one right here. Look at that. That totally works. That is actually not a bad place for it, I think. Uh, I'm doing good planning dinner with the partners. Oh, nice. What are you having for dinner? Or what are you planning to have for dinner, uh, uh, at least? What's on the dinner table? All right, we have some demand for industry. I wish IRL commercials would be funny like this instead of being super loud and annoying. Yeah. I guess maybe that's like the thing with game commercials. They're always a lot of fun. I think they're always so much fun. Buy low, sell hay. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous. It's, it's a ridiculous ad, but it's still very funny. Also, didn't you guys see we just had a traffic flow of 73? I mean, we're back down to 70 now, but like we had a traffic flow of 73, which was surprisingly good. At least I think so. I think it's surprisingly good. What happens if I just turn this off? Uh, Brian Storm, thanks so much for the 200 biddies. Thank you so much. I can appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. We're gonna make some Gouda burgers. Ooh, I mean, funny, funny tidbit. I'm from the Netherlands, so like, you know, Gouda is is a city in the Netherlands, and that's where all the cheese is coming from. So, oh well, not all the cheese, but that's where Gouda cheese comes from. From a small city. I mean, I don't know if it's small, but like from a city in the Netherlands. Why does it not work? 
I I mean, I... 81 biddies is more fun. Yeah, because then it, then this happens. Then that happens, but... Wait, I need to... Wait, let me let me see if I can fix that, because I hate that it's not working. I'm going to do some quick stream uh, stream tips here live, because I hate that it's not working. I don't understand. Uh, all right, loves, I have to head out to work tomorrow. Have a pleasant stream, everyone, and I expect you all to be very nice to Jordy. Every, I mean, usually people are very nice, tricks, so I think that's going to be fine. But thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I hope you had a good one. And thanks so much for coming by, and have a good night's sleep. Have a good night's sleep. Um, yes, now if only they would market it with the right pronunciation. Yeah, so it's not Yeah, so you don't pronounce it Gouda uh, in the Netherlands. You pronounce it as Gouda. That's the Dutch word for it, Gouda. Uh, so I think in English that would be Gouda. Gouda, I think. It's not Gouda. Um, let's see, why is this not working? A 181 bits. Yeah, that's the one that it should be. Let's try something else. Let's try, let's do this. State either, exact, yeah, and then we're also going to have that do this. All right, I'm not going to ask anyone to use 181 bits again. Um, and then we're going to do one, we're going to do this and this. Let's see, we have that and this, and then I'm going to try that. All right. Again, I'm not going to ask anyone to, to cheer bits, but hopefully next time it's going to do it by itself. I mean, I can always do it myself, luckily, but it should just work on its own. Oh, wait, 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 hang on. Now my, my, uh, now my thing is broken. There we go. Bye, Tricks. Thanks so much for being here. Ah, oh, thanks again for the 200 biddies. Uh, no, it needs to be, it needs to be exactly... Um, wait, it needs to be exactly uh, 181 bits. But uh, please don't feel like you need to cheer 181 bits. It's all good. Like, please don't be like, you need to do it. But, yay, it worked. <laughs> I fixed it. I fixed it. Well, thanks thanks so much for Brainstorm for the 200 bits. And also thank you for those 181. I can appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, I think we need to have more. Let's see, we have a. Ooh, we're still prestigious, so that's good. And we won some sports trophies. So you do a 180 with 181 bits are gifted. Yeah, okay, that's the thing. Um, I don't know exactly why. The only thing that I remember is that I set it up like that. And I don't know why it was 181. However, I did also just now make it that also 180 bits also makes me do a 180. I don't know why it's 181. I, I had an idea with that, I'm sure. I'm sure that I had an idea for that, but I don't know what that is. So I, I kind of I just left it because it has been that way for a while. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. And I know that makes me sound like a terrible streamer, but yeah. <laughs> we did buy Gouda cast from Picnic. A package shows Gouda cheese from North Holland, but Gouda is in South Holland, so I guess, I guess that's allowed. Oh, that is weird and interesting. All right, so these are going to be without power for a while. These two have power. I think these will soon have power once this is going to be... F oh, jeez. Once this is going to be filled in. Yeah, so 69 bits also is fun. It makes me, um... 69 bits is also sneeze. Um, you know, sn sneeze. Yeah. All right, we have more demand for industrial stuff. Um, we could build some more here. And then we can build some here. Oh, actually, no, 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 not on this side. Like that. Um, we can fill this in with industrial as well. Maybe one here, like a big building. 
Let's change the radio station. Even though this is a good song, I feel that we've heard quite a bit of this station lately. Railhawk? Well, actually, let's go with... Um... Let's see, where's my one of my favorites? Let's see, concerts, Calm the Mind, On Air, Sunny Breeze, Coast to Coast. Where's my... Um... Oh, here we go, Country Road Radio. One of my favorites. I mean, we can make another, maybe another big industrial area here. Because we do have a demand for industry. Like, look at this. Like, also, this one has been filled in, like, instantly. Uh, so we could maybe make, like, another industrial area here. But I'm already kind of worried about, like, wait, how is my trafficking here? Alright, let's turn off the, um... Let's see... Yeah, that's better. No traffic lights. I wonder how things are here with traffic. Oh, wait, wait. How is my uh, signaling here? Yeah, there we go. I want to make the, uh, you know, going straight. I want that to be the um, main movement. Also, why is this not filling in? Like, houses on this side, houses on this side, but not in the center. Alright, I feel that we should also do something with... Um... See, maybe we can make something here. Ooh, wait, what is happening here? A lot of traffic here. Alright, because there's one thing that I want to try and do. I want to make maybe a, um, a district here for leisure. Let's see if we can do that. Because we have... How is the, how is the campus area? The, yeah, this is still campus, but that's okay. Maybe we can make the campus area slightly smaller. Like that. And then maybe we can make a new area here. Um, maybe if we extend it a little bit over here. Oh crap, that's not gonna work. Maybe we can extend it a little bit over here. Although wait, maybe not too far because this is res yeah, this is residential. Um, yeah, let's actually keep it here. Like that. All right. And what I want to do there is I want to make that a... No, I want, don't want to have another... There we go. I want to make this a, a tourism specialization. So because we have like, you know, we have the um, the stadium here. So I'm thinking that could definitely work. So I kind of want to have... It goes until there. So I think until here. Let's wait, let's turn on everything again. Alright, and then we're gonna fill this in with uh, a very simple grid. Nothing fancy. Just like that. Let's see, how's the district? Let's make it slightly bigger. My heart was here to stay. You were dancing like an angel. Like that. Like this is gonna be all commercial. Um what if this could let's have a look at our policies. Um let's go of leisure. 
Leisure specialized areas stop generating tax income, but they get a hefty boost in their entertainment. And yeah, we don't want that. Um, let's see if we need. Let's give free Wi Fi. That might be a good one. I don't know. Wait, actually, is it a good one? Uh, citizens and tourists allow easier use of email and other internet services. Yeah, let's do that. Um, no loud noise in the night. Lesser specialized areas were closed for the night. Reduce noise pollution caused by leisure. Okay, we might want to... I mean, I think we should be far enough away um, from, the, from this. So don't make it too big. Leisure is high traffic, I believe. That is true. We can we can make it this big and then see if it works. If it's gonna be a lot of strain on the uh, on the traffic, then maybe we can then maybe we can fix that. Um, that's a good point though. Maybe what is this public library? Let's move that a little bit and then let's make a road that goes behind here like that and then hopefully we can make this sort of connect up like that then we just need to have this connected again so there's at least a second access point here as well um but yeah, let's see how this is gonna how this is gonna perform. So we're gonna fill this in. It might indeed be too big. So let's start maybe with two. And then we can always remove this section here if it's too uh, if it's too big. Hello. The car engineer said shouldn't be made. The car engineer said shouldn't be made, and yet here we are. What scientists for decades claimed was beyond the realm of safe drive. All right. Um, we can also add some commercial here on this side now. Next to the football stadium. Evergreen Heights. Let's call this um. I don't have a good name. I'm so bad at naming like these neighborhoods. I, I'm I, I'm terrible at it. I should be I should be better at it, but I'm so bad at coming up with good names for these neighborhoods. Look at the blimp. I hope to hear from you again soon. How are our blimp lines? Wait, wait, wait. Line oh, line details. Okay, there's not a lot of people waiting there, but you know they they are in use. Alright, I might switch to radio stations again soon as well because I feel that these are this song, I mean if we hear this song again I might switch again because as much as I love this this station, I do feel that it sometimes can be very repetitive. All right, there's still some traffic issues or some garbage issues, but I feel that they are slowly resolving, so that's good. How are we here? Oh, it looks nice, right? Looks good. Oh man, this is a nice house. Look at this. This is a beautiful home. Not everything is filled in yet. We have some blocks over here that can be... Uh, can be done. I like how your city looks. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I mean, it's quite big. We have a lot of traffic issues, sadly. 72%. It's, it's going up. It's going up. Got to add school there. Oh, well, now that you mention it, I need to add more stuff here. I don't have any public services yet. I don't have any... Uh, yeah, we're going to have to do a um, a little 360 on, on that. Let's add a... Uh, let's add that here. Fire station... I'm sorry, people, you're going to have to evict your house. Sorry about that. I always feel bad that I have to uh, do this, but, you know. 
Uh, and then a school is also a good one. Let's add a uh, let's add a uh, community school. And a high school on the other side. Somewhere. Let's do some grading here. Such a good song, I love it. Alright, cool. Let's see, we have a dead person here, but I'm... Oh wait, yeah, let's also add a... Um, crematorium! Good. For some reason, a random memory just popped into my head of an elderly Dutch man who said he spent 40 years of his life in the same bar. In the same bar, directly followed by a clip of him leaving his house with his tiny dog, walking a few feet, then go inside the bar next door over. Wow. <laughs> he must have really liked that place, you know? I'm sure they knew his It's like one of those places where they knew his name. Oh, they, the ferry is being used quite a bit. Passenger service last week, 98. So it is being used. I like that. It's not just here for looks. I mean, a lot of people are waiting. Very dangerously on the edge without any, um, any like, borders. But, you know, a lot of people are chilling here. Even a doggo. Look at that. We got a dog. Let's name the dog Rufus. Because why not? Oh, they all have to jump in. Look at that. <laughs> all just jumping down. Heck. I'll have to stay longer, but I'm too tired. Have a nice stream. No worries, Time Light. Please get some sleepies. Be a good boy. But I'm sure you are. I know you are. You are. Oh, we had a... Oh, no. We had a fire in Puppy Land. Oh, no. We had a fire in Puppy Land. All the trees are blackened. Uh, but be a good boy. Sleep well. And thank you for being here. All right. Let's see how traffic is here. So far, traffic is still fine. So far, traffic is still fine. Do we have a subway station here as well? I don't think we do. Let's add a subway station here. If we can. Let's connect that up. Wait, what's this? Ah, oh, wait, we have a uh, pedestrian bridge here, it seems. Wait, hang on. Is that a pedestrian bridge? Yeah, it totally is. But hang on, let's get rid of that on the ground. Let's make it go above ground. So that we can have a... This, we can have it go... Um... Let's see, let's first make it go straight for a while. Then we're gonna make it curve. Like that. Alright, and then the route is we're gonna just add, let's see. Drag line to add stop. Yeah, we wanna add a stop here. There we go. So now it also stops here. So we have an extra subway station near the uh, sports facilities, which I think is a good idea. I mean, so far, traffic-wise, it's not too bad. This one is a little bit busier, but it's not the worst. Um, so I might fill this in as well, but for now, let's just leave it like this. For now, I think we are okay with, with the way it is right now. I mean, after 40 years of steady visitation, I hope people ask for your name at some point. Yeah, I mean, kind of true. I didn't look safe. Them jumping down. No, I'm sure it, 
it, it definitely didn't. But, you know, the game makes it work, so I guess it works. Thanks for Sleeper. Sleeper, uh, Axel. It was good having you. All right, with that, I'm also going to take another break uh, real quick because I, I want to get something new to drink and also to lube my throat a little bit. So I'm going to take another super quick break. Um, so yeah, you guys can play some Plinko while I'm gone. And then after that, I think we're going to... I think I'm either going to end it with City Skylines or maybe potentially... Um, maybe I would like to um, play something else for the end of the stream as well. But we'll see. I, I think we're just going to keep on going with cities because we have only been playing that for like, I don't know, like not too long. So um, yeah, hope I win. I hope you do as well. I hope you do as well. I, I you, you, you are allowed to have all the good wins. <laughs> um, but yeah, you guys play some Plinko and then I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Be right back, chat. I'll be right back.
Hello, hello. I have returned yet again. Oh, come on. Yeah, I saw that last one. Oh, I was waiting for it to uh, to drop down. I saw it go it go down and down and down. And then I was like, oh, it all it, it, it was so close. It was like bouncing over the thing. And then it was like, is it going in? Is it going in? Is it go? Oh, no, it didn't. It didn't go in. Um. So that was a bummer. All right. Um, how long have we been playing this? I'm a little bit un, un I'm a little bit undecided if I want to keep going with this or if I would love to end it with a couple of games of Fortnite. Because I kind of feel like playing that a little bit as well, and I still sort of struggle with this city sometimes to make it work properly. So yeah, how did your heart rate spike to 80 a few minutes back? Um, I don't know. I was on the toilet. I was grabbing something to drink. I was playing with Juro because he came in and I was like cuddling him. So I don't know. Maybe that was maybe that was the reason why. <laughs> would you guys hate it if I would switch for if I would switch games for like the last leg of the stream? Would you guys hate that? 
Or would you guys be okay with that? I know I probably shouldn't ask, but still. Not playing with Peter? No, I mean, no, no. We never hate things. Let me first actually check if I can even play, because I feel there was also an update, and I don't think I've updated the game yet, so I'm not sure if I even can play it. So let's quickly have a look. I, I, uh, I hate how games don't always update in the background. That would make things so much, so much nicer, but, you know, it doesn't always work that way. Unfortunately. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The first fix the power issue in the park. Yeah, I can't really fix that um, because I'm kind of I built that hoping that. Um, all right, there is an update, but I think it's a small one, so I think we should be OK. 15 megabytes. I think that is definitely doable unless it's going to be bigger later, but it looks like it's only a 15 megabyte update, so I think we should be fine. Um. What about moving the buildings a little? No, because they're like the power, like... This is not gonna jump, so this one I would have to move very close. Like, this is now jumping, so these, I mean... I have to build something on the other side for it to work. So that's kind of a bummer. Um... Oh, you just reminded me, I discovered a game recently that you might love. Imagine Fortnite, but 2D with cute, fully customizable furry characters. Wait, I do you mean Super Animal Royale? Is that the one that you mean? I think it was called Super Animal Royale. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I, I know of I, I know of that. Uh, I have played it before. Um, I haven't played it in a while, though. Good for update. Yeah, just update, dude. I'm not sure if you are updating or not. It's, it's not really doing anything. Why don't you update? Oh, it's download throttling is an OK, there we go. It seems like it's updating now. Uh, three gigabytes. Okay, I don't think I can... I don't think that's gonna happen. Three gigabytes? Yeah. With throttling on? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Alright, never mind. I do wanna exit. Okay, we're not gonna play Fortnite. So I guess we're just, um... Heck, I, that's kind of a bummer. Because I, I kind of wanted to... Uh, I kind of wanted to play that, but uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be... Uh, my bitrate is gonna go down the drain if I if I do that um if I if I update like three gigabytes that's not gonna happen now my bitrate is gone anyway all right there it comes back again I think I think we're good I think we're good or at least it's, it's slowly coming back it's a small jump area yeah I mean it's well I mean the only way that I can probably make it work is by building an amenity there. I mean, we could maybe build something. Let's see. Park cafe. We could build maybe a park cafe. Here. That will make this jump. There we go. Then maybe we can build... A climbing frame for, like, the kids. Over there. But yeah, I was thinking about... Um, I was thinking about uh, Sar recently, actually, because I, I don't know why, but I saw some others played, I guess, or like I, I heard others talk about it. I was like, oh yeah, I might be able to play that at some point as well. Um, so yeah, who knows? Maybe I'll play it at some point. I, haven't, I don't have it installed, though, so I can't do it like now, obviously. All right, let's add another gazebo. Um, here, then I think we should be good. There we go. I hope you're happy now. I hope you're happy now. I was happy that I am able to get 8 gigabyte internet in a few months. And today a friend sent me a message that he's now able to get 25 gigabytes internet. I wonder if we would have fiber, if I would be able to download, you know, like an update like that while streaming simultaneously without dropping bit, without dropping uh, bitrate. I wonder if that would even be possible. It 
I love this song. None of the educated works. I mean, I have a school right here. How are we in terms of school things? Let's see. High school availability is okay-ish. Elementary school could be better. We have one here and here. It could be better, though. I feel that we do have enough coverage. Okay, maybe not here, but I think this is mostly offices anyway. Wait, I don't have a lot of public libraries. Can we build a public library anywhere? Alright, so we have another public library. Maybe next Friday. Um, I'm uh, next Friday I was already planning on um, um, playing some GTA 5. I f I'll first have to install the game. Though. I mean, I can definitely install it soon if I think about it. Um... And then I, I, I don't think it's going to be... I, do, I don't see it being a game that I play all evening, in all honesty. Same like, for instance, like Fortnite. I don't see that as a game that I play all evening. But it's definitely something I can play, like, you know, to end the stream with. Like, like for instance, like today, if I had it installed, I could definitely play it, like, today. Uh, as, like, you know, a way to end the stream. But I don't have it installed. And, like, seeing as it's, I think, a couple of gigabytes big as well. That's not, you know, that's not going to happen just like that, unfortunately. But it's good to know that you guys would like to see something like that, because I'll keep it in mind, for sure. I'll keep it in mind, for sure. The only other game that I feel that I might feel like playing a little bit, it might be Halo, because there is, like, a new season of Halo. You know what? Let's do that. I'm, I, I don't really feel like... I'm kind of stuck at this game for now anyway, so let's play some Halo Infinite to round out the stream. Um, let's do that. I haven't played that in a little bit, and there's a new update, which I have downloaded, actually. Um, a new update which also has um, new maps. So let's check out those new maps. 8-bit internet, can you run that on an S? 8 gigabit. <laughs> hey Bear Spirit, hello, how are you doing? Hello, hello, welcome on in. I'm sorry for like switching games randomly, chat. I know, I know that I'm verging on disclaimer territory by saying that. Um, Yeah, I'm kind of struggling with this city. I don't know why. Also, I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of done with the heart rate for now, so let's cancel that. Um, turn that off again. Mm. Let's see. Halo Infinite. No sorry counter. No, there's no sorry counter. <laughs> No, there, there is a disclaimer counter, but not a sorry counter. Um, let's see. But how are you doing, Bear Spirit? Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Mm, mm, mm. Speaking of which, have you heard of the Mexican Halo? Hola. <laughs> but, um, uh, I've not heard of that. No, no. Hey, tell me more. Can you tell me more about it? <laughs> the Mexican Halo. Doing well, just playing hardcore Subnautica. Ooh, nice. I've never played that myself. I would love to try it at some point, but I've never actually played it. Subnautica. Thanks for asking. How are you? I'm doing good as well. A little bit hot. Uh, Temperature-wise, so warm. A little bit warm. Other than that, I'm doing good. My bitrate is not doing so great, though, but it's slowly coming back up. I don't know why that always takes so long. 
I never understand why it takes so long for my bit rate to go back up after it has been down. Uh, did I change the game? I think I, yeah, I'm sure that I did. Yeah, there we go. Um, for some reason, my bitrate is always like instantly going down, which I don't understand. And then once I wanted to come back up, it always takes forever. The issue with downloading fast while streaming is still there. I think if you use the Ethernet over power. Yeah, I mean, with the thing that we have right now, this Ethernet thing, I don't even know if it would be able to handle like, like the gigabit internet speeds anyway. We should be getting fiber later this year. Um, Cause they, they, um, Something has changed to require the restart of the game. Oh crap, okay, then we probably have to restart. Sorry about that, we're gonna restart the game. Um, We should be getting fiber later this year. I think they're gonna start digging and, and like, you know, connecting and stuff like that after the summer. I think. At least that's like the latest that we've heard about it. So we'll see. We'll see. I mean, if they are digging and like drilling in the home anyway, maybe they'll dig like an extra hole as well. I don't know. Maybe they'll be like, oh yeah, yeah, we can do that. We can just drill through the hole here, whoop. And then, you know, yeah, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. I mean, Downloading while streaming is probably never a good idea. Um, so if I just want to play something, I just need to make sure that I have it like downloaded or updated or anything like that. I think that's always like a good idea. Bear Spirit, thanks so much for the host. I appreciate it. I have fiber on my home office now. We did put a fiber cable from the firewall to the switch in the office. And then connected the PCs with 10 gigabyte internet on it too. So how did you do that? Like, did you just, how did you drag that cable? Or did you actually drill everywhere? Is always it like, you know, running across the floor against the walls? Like, you know, is it going like everywhere all over the place? <laughs> We just drilled. I've been working on my apartment complex for two years now, but still no fiber internet. Feels bad. Yeah, so last year... Yeah, last year they had like a sort of... Um, they had like a thing where, you know, like certain amount of people had to sign up for fiber internet. And then once they ma match managed to get that threshold, they were going to, you know... Um, you know, add it to our, our neighborhood. Um... I think initially they didn't make it with the first deadline um, because the deadline was like November 9th, I think, last year. And then like a couple of weeks later, we got an email or we got a letter saying like, yeah, we didn't meet the deadline or like not enough people signed up. So we extended the deadline. It's now January something. Um, and then like, you know, a few months back, we got a letter saying like, yeah, we managed to, uh, you know, we, we managed to get the uh, amount of subscriptions that we needed. So congratulations, you will get fiber internet. Most likely we'll start digging by the end of summer, something like that. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Very curious how they're going to, how they're going to install it and how much issue, like how annoying that's going to be. I hope it's not going to be that annoying because I don't want people drilling all over my neighborhood for like, you know, weeks. My parents, two companies want to put fiber in the ground so they will possibly get two cables. Is that how that works? I really hope that like, you know, the, the adding it to the home is not going to be too much of a hassle because if there's one thing I don't like is people doing construction in my house. Um, 
I, I don't love it when there's like, you know, random people that I don't know doing construction in the house. I don't like that. Like if they if they want to do construction, like, you know, just outside, that's all good. Like, you know, enjoy yourself. I just don't like having random strangers in my home. But that's probably just me. All right, let's see what mission, what uh, what kind of game mode can we do? Bot bootcamp, big team battle, last Spartan standing. I think that's new. King of the Hill. Ooh, that is new. I love King of the Hill. Let's do King of the Hill. So this is season two. So I'm sure I, I believe there's going to be new maps here as well. So that is both good and bad because I don't know those maps yet. So that's always going to be tricky. Um, but yeah, I reckon my neighborhood wouldn't go for it either. Uh, but more because my local area is very backwards when it comes to common sense. Wait, do you live in the US? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's not a lot of work, I think. All right, good. It's very stressful having strangers in your home. Yeah, like I, I don't like that anyway. Um, and then we also have a dog, like a bio dog as well. And like he doesn't like having strangers here either. So we constantly need to make sure that he's not going to be barking all the time and stuff like that. Um... So yeah, it's like a combination of factors, I guess. A friend of mine has had an apartment in a new building and he has two fiber cables too, since uh, coax and phone lines are both replaced with fiber. Yeah, we'll have to see. I mean, honestly, uh, even though they said they were going to do it like at the end of the, um, like after the summer, summer holiday, they said they were going to do it. I, I first have to see it before I believe it, I guess. Had people over in my house for renovations, left dust, holes and cracks everywhere. Yeah, like, right? Yeah, it's. I just, I don't know. I just never like it when they do construction in the home. I mean, it doesn't happen often. But like sometimes, you know, you need to get like a mechanic come over and I'm always like, ah, oh, ah, oh, a mechanic, ah, oh, please no. I can see it happening that you and Brooke are barking to the man installing. <laughs> It would be, I wonder what someone would do if I would be over there in my pup hood on all fours barking at someone. I wonder what they would be like, what the hell is happening here? <laughs> Can't make no promise that I wouldn't do it though. I oh mean, why is this game always so slow with loading stuff? Like how, I mean, I think I started playing this at like mid midnight and now we are like 11 minutes later. I haven't played a single game. This game is always so slow. Loading map, 54%. There we go. I was going to say, how big is that map? Match starting in 4, 3, 2, 1. Did you change the game? Yeah, I did. Good boy. I did. Good boy. Thank you. Thank you. My area both loves to be the US. He has also acts like they're beneath us. Launch site. Is this a new map? Oh, no, it's not. No, no, no. It's not a new map. Never mind. Oh, that's a cool skin. I still love my colored one with the mohawk, the, the glowy mohawk. I still think that looks really cool. Eagle team, let's go. I haven't played this in a while, so... Well, you. Mostly you. I haven't played this in a while, so it's going to be interesting. Got him! Got him. Ah, oh, 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 crap. Reloading, reloading. Ah, oh, dang it. I was reloading. Enemy team took the Boxes, installation guy in full hood and all, all fours. Installation guy, please don't hump my leg. Please don't hump my leg. <laughs> Another, one down. Another one down. Wait, where's the, where's the hill? 
team took the hill. No, don't take the hill. It's us. Oh crap! Didn't see him. He was behind me. I think. Enemy about to score. Enemy team score. Crap. Hill incoming. Wait, where's the new hill? Oh, it's right here. Perfect. Hill control. Stop shooting. Oh man, I haven't played this game in a while and I think it shows. I think it shows. I would just lock Jody up in his bedroom and then I start drilling a hole in the net for the next network cable. But then you would have to be in the bedroom though. So how is that going to work if you're lock locking me in here? Like you're locking me in here and yet you also need to be here. Why am I so bad at this game? I used to be quite good, but I, I did play another I did play another game mode mostly, so maybe that that is that has changed. If we ever buy a house though, if we ever buy a house, Enemy team took the hill. I will make sure that we have Ethernet everywhere. Although I mean I say that now, but I can't of course just I can't just be like, oh yeah, we'll make sure of that, because it's, that's not how that works. Oh, I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. But it was just crash the door if you do that. Yeah, I might. I totally might. <laughs> About to score. No, not again. We want to score. Yeah, we're not going to score, though. I think this is a pretty much uh, done deal. As much as I hate it. Gotcha. Where's the new hill? Over there? Enemy team took the hill. Of course they did. Where is the hill? Oh, here it is. I was happy there was an empty pipe from the uh, closet to the bedroom. I really don't understand why the other room... Oh, itchy ear. Why the other room didn't have an empty pipe? Wait, in your apartment? You mean? If we ever buy a house, millennials, those words, can you use them in a sentence like that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I say that, I, that's why I say ever, because I, I definitely feel like, you know, it's definitely, of course, the uh, intention. But it's like, you know, is it going to happen before we are like 50? I have no idea. I hope so. I mean, I hope so we can do it before I'm 30, uh, 40. But yeah, first I need to get a job that pays well. Then I need to win the lottery. That also helps. Maybe I should just become polyamorous and then just marry someone super wealthy. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. I'm kidding. The big bedroom has an empty pipe with empty box in the wall and the small bedroom that we use in an office is not. That's kind of weird. And annoying. Oh wait, do we do they ch have they changed? Let's see. Ah, oh, they haven't. They still haven't got a way to see. Let's see what other matches do we have? Tactical Slayer. I love Tactical Slayer. Let's play that. Marrying into wealth is to get rich. Beat run strat. Yeah, right. <laughs> But hey, I'm married for love and um, in sickness and in health. So I still stand by that, obviously. We don't need a network cable in the bathroom yet.
Okay, so we're gonna switch game modes. Tactical Slayer. I used to be quite good at Tactical Slayer, but, you know, with the emphasis on used to be, since it has been a while. So we'll see. A lot of baby boomers took themselves out by refusing vaccines, so as cool as it may sound, that did speed things up. I mean, I don't know. I want to play a new map. This is not a new map. I want to play a new map. There's new maps in the game. I want to see them. Look at my mohawk. Isn't that super cool? Oh, wait, we someone left already. Perfect. Bye. Wait, is the game lagging? It's lagging a little bit. Again, I used to be quite good at this mode. But that has been a while. I knew he was there. Just build enough homes so there's enough to buy. Yeah, and I think also one thing that apparently, I didn't know that, but apparently one thing that is really an issue is that a lot of homes are fudge. I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at chat. A lot of homes are being bought by like investors and then they use them to like rent out. So basically they buy homes and then rent them out. And I think that is also a major issue. And I feel they should do something about that. They should, like, there should be a rule, and I think they are working on that. There should be a rule that if you buy a house, you should at least intend to live there. And don't buy it to rent it out to others. Fudge! Because I think that's what's happening. That's kind of what's keeping, like, you know, honest people that want to buy a home. That's what's keeping them from actually achieving that. Ooh. Oh. I saw you. I saw you. Where did you go? Crap, where did he go? Crap. Why did I stop playing this game? I was quite good. I hate, I hate it. Okay, that was a good one, though. Mm, I thought I had him. The rental market is completely insane. And lots of people buy small homes and section them into apartments to use as Airbnbs. Yeah. Fudge. Used to be a hellish thing with apartment buildings of owners kicking out tenants to use the rooms as Airbnbs. Why do I miss everything? Okay, he missed everything as well, but still. Wish we were able to... Wish we were able the bigger house... Here in the... Uh, to get the bigger house, but it was too expensive. Oh, man, I hate it. I feel so embarrassed, chat. Like, you must be thinking that I suck at this game, and I used to be... Okay, I used to be quite okay. But again, you know, the emphasis is on used to be. Especially this game. I used to play this game mode like all the time and I loved it. See? See, that was a good one. That was a good shot. See, that was a good shot. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was a bummer. Now our current apartment is more expensive than that one, but we rent it now. Wait, you were able to buy your apartment as well? Yeah, one thing that I absolutely hate about, like, mortgages and stuff like that is that, um... 
When I still had a job, when I still had a job, we we went to like a mortgage consultant to see like you know if we want to get a mortgage, like what can we get, how much can we spend, you know, stuff like that. Um, and we were actually even with when I actually had a job, we were not able to get a mortgage that was higher every month than our current, uh, you know, renting, uh, you know, the amount that we pay for rent is. Which I thought was insane. Like, you know, we've been living here for nine, ten years, I guess, something like that. And we've always paid our rent in time, like maybe once, like maybe at the beginning we didn't because we forgot that it was coming. So we didn't have enough money on the account and then we paid it as soon as we saw that we, you know, that we we missed it. Like we've always been in time and then when you want to get a mortgage, it's like, yeah, you can only get a mortgage that is like 100, maybe 200 euros lower than what you've been paying every single month for like many years. And that, uh, that is just very unfair, I think. There we go. <laughs> I feel my... <laughs> Once this match is over, I'm going to have to look at my sensitivity. I feel that it's higher again. How many kills do I have? Six? Not great. Not great. I mean, this was the first match, though, so I shouldn't I shouldn't beat myself up over it. You know, let's call this a practice round, training round. See, that was a good one. See, I, I still have it. I still got it. I just, you know, I, it just needs to come out. Yep, I saw it. I saw it. They're probably nearby. There we go. Oh, see? I still got it. I still have it. Fudge. We were looking at other houses in the building, uh, which cost a few months ago, and we expected a price like that, but it was a lot higher already. Yeah, the housing market is currently, it's like insane. Defeat. I mean, I knew we were going to get defeated, but still. I was actually talking to Timelight about that when on the, at Bark and Play last Saturday. Um, I was talking about, um, like, you know, how, like, the housing market is insane. And I was like, because he lives up north. Uh, and I was like, I would love to live there in like, you know, like a nice farmhouse, like, you know, like a nice big, big house that is like way cheaper up there because, you know, there's just not really anything else, I guess. I don't know. Like the houses are way cheaper up north. I was like, I would would love to live up north. But like then you have the issue with um, house sensitivity 1.2. I think it used to be way lower than that. Although maybe not. Let's lower it to 0.8. Let's lower it a little bit. I'm not sure if it used to be this low, but... Alright, let's try that. I'm blessed with the apartment that I have. It's in a bad general area with no job opportunities or leisure, but I do get to do my thing in a family-sized apartment totally alone. I mean, yeah, that's good. Like, if you can afford that and everything, that's, that's like, perfect. And if you don't mind living in the area that you do, then, you know, good for you. Of course. I mean, I have to say, like... I don't hate living where we do. Like, I, I, I shouldn't... I, I'm not, like, completely complaining. Um... <laughs> The only thing that I really do miss, though, is having a little bit more, like, having my own space. Like, Peter has, you know, the other bedroom, which is kind of small. That's basically Peter's domain now. Like, that, my, my old Mac is still there. Like, my old iMac is still there. But, like, he uses that for, like, his crafting, and he makes his videos there, and, like, he does his thing there. And this, 
is basically my area. So like, you know, this desk that I have, where I stream and like, you know, play games and like, this is where I'm usually sitting most of the day. And I just wish that I had like more of my own space that wasn't like my bedroom slash like, you know, this is of course also my bedroom. Um, and that's kind of, kind of something that I'm missing. Other than that, like this apartment is still fine. Like, of course, the only one thing that I'm really missing is like a dishwasher in the kitchen, of course. Um, like, you know, like some amenities, but like other than that, like the, the location is great. Like it's close to the city center, but not close enough that we have like issues with like, you know, like sound or something like that. It's close to a supermarket that's literally like across the street from us almost. It's close to the same map again. Uh, it's close to the central station. So like there's a lot of amenities in like the neighborhood, which are great. Um, like location wise, it's 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 perfect. I just miss like having an extra room for like a space of my my own. And like I really miss a garden. I would love to have a garden. Oh, wait, this is a different. Wait, is this the same game? Oh, wait, I don't wait. Is this game tactical slayer commando rifles? Oh, is that new? It always used to be battle rifles, and I don't know if I can do the same thing with this rifle. I've never played with this before. Okay, maybe the sensitivity is too low now. Yeah, I think it's too low. Put it back to... Uh... Point eight. Je suis Dave. I think we know what this this character's name is. Oh, he left. Je suis Dave left. Bonjour, je suis Dave. One thing that I always try to do is, like, I always try to aim at, like, where people's heads would be. Oh, crap. I also loved where we had one more extra room. Yeah. No beds are allowed in the streaming room. With how things are nowadays, it's a trade-off. Either you live in a shoebox within a thriving area or live in a decent house, but with no options, job, network, or leisure-wise. Yeah, and, like, I feel... You know, I mean, jobs wise, I can't speak for it like in our neighborhood. But, like, I feel that like the area that we live in is perfect, but it's not necessarily a big like our apartment is not small, but it's like it's 60. I think it's like 62 square meters in total, which is not like, you know, great, but it's also not like, you know, Amsterdam size. Keep your head down. I want the outside to be a bit a little bigger. Yeah, I would love to have a, uh, a garden as well. Like, we have a balcony and that's it. Like, it's not really big. I mean, we have we put some chairs over there. We have our bunny bunny lifts on the balcony. That's it. Like, you, you can't really put anything else on there. So, yeah, I would love to have, like, a bigger garden or, like, a garden in general. But the most thing that I, would, that I really miss is, like, having an extra room. Like, a room for myself. Penthouse in this building would be perfect. Still a little sad we're not able to buy it. Wait, you got... Your building has a penthouse? Oh wait, not sure if it's really a penthouse, but one of the houses on top with a nice deck outside and an extra room. Yeah, okay, yeah, so I see your point. Like it's not it's not a penthouse per se, but it's like the building on the top floor. Yeah, that makes sense. Mmm, fudge! Oh, this other team is good. And again, I know that I shouldn't be complaining, and I'm trying not to. I'm I mean I'm not really complaining or anything. Um Like, I'm honestly not really complaining or anything. It's just... It's just like, you know, I wish that we could just have something that is a little bit bigger. And like, I, I'm just ready. Like, I'm just at a point in my life, I guess, where I feel that I'm ready for... Like, having our own house. Or like, like a bigger a bigger place. Where we can just do our thing, you know. That's just the main, the main thing. Double kill. Double kill. Feel that I feel that I heard something. 
All that I missed is a motorcycle or car to visit other towns with. Maybe your partner keep me company. The latter might be happening soon, perhaps. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah, you were talking with someone or with a couple of people, I feel like you were you were like having some good conversations with recently. Or at least I feel you mentioned that. Yeah, I always say, even though it's very cliche, maybe, but I always say, you know, looking for love might be tricky, but, you know, oftentimes I feel that you find it when you least expect it. Like with me and Peter, I wasn't necessarily looking for love or anything. We just started chatting and sort of one thing led to another. And then, you know, all of a sudden we, we, we started chatting and we kind of liked each other. And well, here we are. But it wasn't that I was, you know, like actively looking for, for love or anything. Mm, I hate this this gun. This gun is just bad. I see there's a Terra's uh, apartment left on the new building on the other side of the road. And it has three bedrooms. Nice. I want it. Does somebody have 600k euros for me so I can buy it? 600k? I mean, like, I know where you guys live. And I don't want to say that it's like a bad neighborhood or anything. But, like, it is, it is like, well, basically next to a central station. So it's not necessarily a very... I mean, it's a very busy neighborhood, I'd say. So I like seeing that there's like an apartment with three rooms, which is not much. That costs that much. It's like kind of insane. 600k. Like if it was like at the outside of the city. I mean, I know that living close, like central is usually more expensive, which... Like I mentioned, I personally would live a little bit outside of the center than like directly in it. But I guess that's maybe just me. I don't know. Oh crap. Oh, we can still win this technically. We are kind of going neck and neck. 54, 56. Or oh, 40, 45, 46. And we now gained the lead. So like if we stay together, which it looks like our team is. 48, 46, we might win this. Oh, we did win this. A victory. 600k, those are extortion numbers. Yeah, right. Wait, our team won, but my why is why didn't why why wait where, where was my where was my character? Our team supposedly won, but where's my character? It didn't show up in like the after match thingy. Yeah, that's a good name, right? The after match thingy. You know the thingy after the match. You know that that thing. <laughs> Okay, so Tactical Slayer is also not <coughs> what it used to be anymore, I guess. I mean, I love Tactical Slayer, but not with that particular weapon. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. By the way, next month is uh, Pride Month again. Um, next month is Pride Month again. Um, which also means that I'm going to be switching our heart emote, the the emote with with the you know Brooklyn holding a heart. We're going to be switching that out for the Pride Heart version for the, for that month only. Um, so that's gonna be fun. Um, 
Also, um, there's going to be another Twitch Leather Pride event, I believe, like near the end of the month, which I'm definitely going to be participating in. I'm going to have to think about whether or not I'm going to be doing one, two or three days. Part of me would love to do three days, but that also means I would do five streams in a week, which might be a little bit excessive. So maybe I'm going to do two days instead. Um... And it also might be the, the month that I'm going to be doing a stream in rubber for the first time, which I'm super nervous about. But, you know, the weather is great. Like, it's definitely warm enough to be in rubber in my room right now. So that's perfect. Um, But yeah, I think it's perfect opportunity to do it for the, uh, the, the Twitch Leather Pride event weekend thingy. Uh, I might also do it before that, because I believe June 15th is the International Day of Latex. Um... Which I think is also a perfect opportunity because it's on a Wednesday, I believe. June 15th, I believe, is on a Wednesday. So that might be the perfect opportunity to do it as well because it, you know, we're literally celebrating, quote unquote, um, the latex community. So, you know, there's a thing. But yeah, lots of, like, you know, several, oh, well, maybe not lots of, but like several fun things happening uh, this month, I think. How's where we live in is now selling for 300k last year. Start bidding at that price. Wait, how do you know that? How do you know that? Oh, this year's was already 350. But you guys can't sell it, of course, because you you are renting it. So like you can't be like, hey, we're gonna sell this place. So if you're leaving, then they might put it up on the market as like a, you know, like a buying house, like you need to buy it. And then they're making so much more money. See, and that's the thing. That kind of sucks. I don't know whether it's impressive or concerning that I know Rex's mannerism so well. <laughs> Rex is a cutie. He's a sweetheart. We might actually team up uh, sometime soon. I, I just need to find out, like, or we just need to find, like, a, a date that works. Um, but I asked him recently if he wanted to play some... Um, oh, I know this map as well. Commander Rifles again? I might leave this match. I don't like Commander Rifles. Why did they, why did they kill my favorite game mode? Um... I poop good was that guy's username um but I asked him if he wanted to play some portal 2 co-op because I've never actually played that and he was like but and he said on his discord that portal 2 is like one of his favorite games so I was like oh wait that would be a perfect opportunity so we're gonna be playing some portal 2 sometime in the future whenever we get a chance to uh team up oh what the hell is that Oh, you can poop? You, I, you can poop. You can ping. Stop pinging. Officer George's desk. Okay, yeah, good. Wait, are we, are we gonna stay here and then let them come to us and that's how we're gonna win this or what? What's the plan? Stop pinging things! Oh, I really hate this gun. For this game mode. When we leave, they'll sell the house. So do you feel that your landlord or like your, your, your housing corporation or, you know, whatever it is, do you feel that they are sort of... That they want you out because then they can make so much more money, or do you not get that feeling? <laughs> Rex said zooming it. <laughs> yeah, of course they were gonna find me there. I I, I mean I could have known that. Also, I was low-key expecting a little bit more feedback or reactions to the streams in June N news information. <laughs> I'm kidding, chat. I'm kidding. I'm not going to be like, you didn't comment on what I said. I'm kidding. We've lost a teammate. 
We've lost the teammate. Yeah, I pooped good. I think he pooped too good. Because we lost him. Oh, I hate this gun so much. Honestly, the one game mode that I, I loved. And they managed to mess it up. I don't know, they are slowly making the rent higher and don't want it to replace the ventilation unit to fix the heat issues in the building. Yeah, so like maybe by like increasing the rent, they are, they're gonna be like, we're just gonna keep doing that as much as we are allowed to, because I think there is like a law that prevents, you know, landlords from keep, keep you know, spiking the rent. But like, they might be like, we're gonna keep doing it until you're gonna be like, yeah, this is too much, we're gonna leave. I think they only can, they're only allowed to do it like 2% every, um, every year. So like they can't like infinitely keep raising it, of course, but yeah, it still sucks. We got a letter from our landlord or like, you know, our, our housing corporation recently where they were also talking about a rent increase. Um, and I really hated the letter. It was something like, um... Something like, of course, everyone wants the rent to not go up at all. Unfortunately, we can't do this. I mean, well, I mean, you know, okay, like that. It doesn't sound as bad, but they, they phrased it so bad. I was like, what the hell? This is not a nice way of saying this. They really phrased it in a way that I was like, this is, this is, yeah, this is like a bad phrasing. Well, not like bad phrasing, but more like. Hey, hello. It just, yeah, it just good sort of didn't you. sound good. Uh, Frostcat FN, how are you doing? Welcome on in. Welcome to the delicious people. How are you doing today? Yeah, I did get him down quick. I weren't able to do it last year because of COVID. Yeah, same here, same here. Yeah, they, they weren't allowed to uh, increase the rent last year, but they did it. I think they're not going to do it this year, but they plan on doing it like next year or something like that. I think that was the letter that we got. Something like that. I never stop believing. I never stop believing. Don't stop believing. Hold on to that feeling. Street lights. People who roll. We still have a good rent if you check other houses in the region. I don't know if ours is good or bad. I have no idea. Like, it's if we can still afford it. That's like, you know, the, may, the most important thing. Um, I feel that it's, it's definitely like on the higher side, I guess, but... Crap, we can still afford it, and that's the most important thing, even with me not having a job. Nice pre- yeah, thank you, I was actually not doing too bad, even though I hate this gun, in this game mode. I feel that I wasn't doing too bad. I didn't want to jump down. I love how normally this game mode is very quiet. To make it more tactical, I guess, so you can really hear like other enemies walking, you know, over to you. Um, Like near the end, when, when you are like, you know, when either of the team is close to winning, then they suddenly start playing some music very quietly. I don't hate it, but I also like the quietness of the ma of the game mode normally. Got him. We are doing pretty good, huh? Yeah, I know. We are doing pretty good. Absolutely. Oh, 
crap. Saw him. Saw him. 24 kills, 8 deaths. I mean, not not bad. Not bad. Just one more kill and then we win. Am I going to make that kill? Don't think so. I am. Never mind. <laughs> am I going to make that kill? I don't think so. Oh, wait. Hold that thought. Look at my victory pose. A random corporation hasn't raised rent in the last four years or so. They actually want to fill in more spaces here since there's vacancies. Oh, yeah. Then, yeah. Then it would be weird if they actually increase it. There used to be a period in our apartment building as well where there was like a lot of empty houses. But like, I feel that all of them are like filled in now. I have no idea how wanted they are, but I feel that every every apartment has someone living there. When we were able to buy the current house, we maybe added an extra room for storage or something. And a new kitchen. But better another house, I think. But I guess we have to wait till I win the lottery or house market restores. Yeah. yeah. Even if I get a job again, um, it's still going to be tricky for us because, you know, Peter doesn't have an income, sadly. Um, so he's on social security. So that really, that really, really hinders our search. And I say that as if it's like, you know, I say that as if I hate it. It's just, and, you know, obviously I don't because I, he's on that for a good reason. Um... I just hate how, like, like I mentioned before, I just hate how the laws are, and I just hate how, like, you know, it's how hard it is to get like a mortgage, even if you have enough money, stuff like that. And that's just, the th that's just the thing that I hate. But yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. Can't really do anything about it. Sadly, as much as I would like that. Mm, 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 mm. All right, let's do maybe one or two matches. And you can pay less mortgage than rent. Yeah, yeah, I was saying that before. Like, we actually, when I still had a, like, a good job. um, Like, this was, this was even a couple of years ago, before the housing market was as bad as it is right now. But when I still had a good job, um, we went to, like, one of those mortgage companies. And the amount of mortgage that we were able to get with the two of us combined was, like, over, like, over 100 euros less than what we pay in rent every single month and have been paying in rent every single month for the last, you know, like many years. But I was like, why can't we get more? Because clearly we can afford this because otherwise we wouldn't be able to live here anymore. Clearly we can afford this. But it's like, yeah, yeah, no, based on calculations and the law and stuff like that. <laughs> yada, 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 you can't get this. Um. So, yeah. I don't think those vacancies were filling very quickly. Uh, though the apartments have a lot of sketchy and rowdy people living in it. I just took the place because it was living here or be homeless. Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's an easy choice, I guess. <laughs> it's a sucky choice, but probably an easy choice. Tactical Slayer. Tactical Slayer. Ooh, with the battle rifle in my favorite map. That's good. Future Fish. I still love my color scheme. Let's look at the crypto market. Yeah, what's up with the crypto market? I saw that it was like, oh, good. It's it's my it's better gun again. Still not enough for a home. What, didn't the crypto market like crash recently and that everyone was like, you know, freaking out over it? Or was that like just a, just a, just a small crash and now everything is fine again? I saw something the other day that like everyone was like freaking out. What the hell? Got him. Oh, 
Oh man, he's quick. That was a stable coin that was not that stable as it looked, so there was a lot of panic. Fudge. Uh, hey Mike Pons, how are you doing? Uh, hope things are going well. Yeah, things are going well. Definitely, how are you doing? The coin should always be one dollar or higher and not, not higher and lower. The crypto market is indeed making patterns and I'm frankly, I'm laughing my butt off at the sideline. I mean, it, it is that I know that Martin is sort of invested in it or that he has some stuff in it. Otherwise, I would probably be doing the same thing. I'm good. Nice. It slowly recovers again. Not the stable coin. That's still two cents. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, crap. I still think a game like this would be interesting to have like a... um. Like a mouse and keyboard cam. I don't play games like this too often. Otherwise, I would definitely have some sort of... I definitely would have some sort of mouse and keyboard cam. Because I think it would definitely be interesting. With a game like this. Wait, where did he go? Where did he go? Oh, someone else got him, I think. Still making profit this year, so I'm happy. Nice. Yeah, part of me sometimes is sad that I never invested in something like that, in like crypto or anything like that. But like, we are already eating into our savings as it is. And they are not that high as it is anyway. So like, as much as I would love to, you know, make them grow, I'm not going to... In, I don't feel good like investing the little savings that I have into something that is as volatile as crypto. With the chance of like losing even more of it. Like if I, <coughs> if I was having like a steady income that was good enough, then maybe. But like seeing as I don't have that at the moment, I don't see it as like a good investment. Have, oh, come on. I was doing so good a couple of matches ago. Now they, like, this other team has... Just has some good team members that are just, like, super quick. Only use money that you can miss. Yeah, and I don't really have... I mean... Again, I'm not, I'm not saying that I... Can't miss anything, but I, you know... We don't like we're not we're not doing a lot of fun stuff because we just can't really afford it. So then buying crypto is not necessarily you know the best use of our money right now. Like we you know we haven't been to like a restaurant or like you know to something fun in like for forever because it's just simply not a good use of our money. So oh man, wait, where was where's <laughs> Where did they shoot that from? Which again, it's also not me trying to complain or anything like that, because... Like I said before, it's with good reason. But it's just, it's just like, you know, the truth... ...at the moment. Mm. Which team are we? Are we red team or blue? I think we are... Yeah, we are blue, so we are still on, in the lead. Keep your head down. Yeah, what do you think I'm trying to do? Show yourself, show yourself. Nope. Nearing victory. And the music starts playing again.
41-32. Still having a good lead. So one thing that I always try to do, I always try to aim at their head. Like if, if someone would be coming, I always try to aim where the head would be. So that I can quickly pull the trigger. I was able to buy the amount of crypto back for 200 euros that I was able to sell to buy a MacBook. So that MacBook only cost me 200 euros then. Yeah, exactly. Like, and you can't really do that now. I mean, I guess you can technically buy crypto for like, you know, 200 euros or something like that. But, you know, that is not going to be... You'll probably have to leave that sitting for ages before you actually make like a good return on investment. And even then, you know, the return on investment is not that spectacular anymore, I think. So like unless you unless you invest like 10,000 or 50,000 or something like that, I don't think you will get a very high return on investment anymore these days. Victory! Victory! Look at my victory pose. All right, one o'clock. I think that's a uh, only if you buy the correct ones. Yeah. Well, yeah, that too. I think one o'clock is a good moment to call it a day. It was nice playing some Halo Infinite again. Sadly, we didn't um, get any of the new maps. I think there are new maps at least. Let's go back. Let's see game list. Catalyst? Is that a new map? Yeah, I think this is a new map. Bazaar, Aquarius, Life, Fire, Recharge, Streets. Yeah, Catalyst I think is definitely new. Judging from like the thumbnail. I was lucky with that one. It spiked to 600 euros this, this year. It was 500 at the beginning of the year. And now only 50. Yeah. Heading to bed here now uh, that we're rounding off for the night. Nice, uh, Taco. Get some sleep. Thank you for being here. Hopefully you had a good time. Um, Yeah, it's getting late. And Peter has, uh, Peter has to go somewhere early in the morning as well. So I don't want to make it too late so yeah i think this is a perfect moment to slowly wrap it up oh well maybe not super slowly but you know regularly to regularly speed wrap it up <laughs> had a great time as usual nice happy to hear that honestly something like that like when you saying like i had a good time as usual really means so much to me the fact that people actually enjoy their time here is like so um so nice i really I, it really makes me happy to hear that so thank you and happy that you had a good time um all right let's see got a couple of people that we might raid out to warns so let's have a quick look i hope it'll go back to 500 plus euros again some known names in the netherlands started investing in it uh, and some tweeted about it that's why it spiked to 600. Yeah, something stuff like that, sometimes stuff like that really um, can help, which is crazy. Like someone tweeting about, like Elon Musk as well, right? Like Elon Musk, didn't he tweet about something earlier and then it spiked all of a sudden? Mm -mm. Um, yeah, let's go here. Let's go uh, raid um, Setsuna. They're doing a birthday subathon. So let's go spread some love over to uh, to them. They made doggy coin go up and, and down for a few weeks. Yeah, kind of crazy. All right, let's do it. Thanks for the stream. Good night. No worries, Om. Thank you for being here. I hope you guys had some fun. So I'm going to be working tomorrow on that video because I want to have it done by uh, I need to have it done by Friday. So I'm going to be working on that. 
tomorrow most of the day. Um, so yeah. Accepting doggy with Tesla. And when it say, when it say, say it's bad, it stops again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember that. That was crazy. All right. Well, again, thank you guys so much for stopping by uh, today. Also playing the games earlier. I really appreciated it. It was so so much fun. It was actually surprisingly fun. So I think I think we're definitely going to play that game more often in the future or like at some point in the future again, uh, especially when they added some new stuff to it. I think this is... Um, that's a good moment to uh, try out the new mini games. Anyway, chat, as always, if you want to stay up to date on my personal life, I shared some fun photos of my day today. So if you want to see some fun photos of woods, animals, nature, stuff like that, me working out, me working up a sweat, anything like that, definitely go ahead and follow me on my Twitter account. Uh, and if you want to hang out with other members of the community outside of the streams, you can do so on our Discord channel as well. Uh, Martin already shared our raid command. This is a delicious raid. Uh, if you are a subscriber to the channel, please use the one at the top with our emotes. If you are not a subscriber, use the one below that. And then as always, feel free to substitute those emotes for your own or your favorite streamers emotes instead. Uh, I'm going to be back here again on Friday. We're going to be doing more GTA 5 and it's going to be a pub hood Friday as well. Um, so I will be wearing my pub hood and we're going to be pupping out together and it's going to be a lot of fun. So um, yeah, hopefully I will see you guys again for that. Uh, and in the meantime, if you are on the Discord channel, I will see you over there. Uh, we can hang out over there as well and chat about many, many, many things that you want to chat about. So, um, yeah, if I don't know, see you there, then I will hopefully see you again on Friday. And um, for now, I hope you have a good rest of your day or a good night's sleep, depending on what time it is for you. Hopefully I can get some sleep without too much coughing and hopefully without it being way too hot uh, in bed. Um, so, yeah. As always, chat, the last thing that I'll say is that my name has been Mr. Delicious. You have all been extremely delicious yourselves as well. Take care. Have a good one. Thanks again so much for being here. I love you all. And I will see you again on Friday. For now, though, bye-bye.